what is going on you guys it is dollar cost crypto here live in las vegas for i don't know how long i've got a couple special guests i've got the 33 life path gary the numbers guy what's going on brother he's a 33 too though oh so this is a 33 stream so 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 we got three 33s Woo! you you guys ready to get canceled <laughs> that was my that was my <laughs> I got a special guest, you guys. I got no, no. <laughs> I bring someone from the back. Oh, don't you dare! <laughs> Come on, Nick Fuentes. No, <laughs> Nick's my friend. He would let me know if he was coming. No, no. But mm. all, all, all jokes aside, I mean, actually, last night there was three thirty-threes as well. Yeah, we were battling a supposed saint. Yeah, of course. On live, of course. Uh, you want to give people a little breakdown of kind of that I, craziness? I, I mean, listen. Um, we have people who found Christ three weeks ago or three months ago, right? And they're already. Um, Telling people they're prophets. <laughs> they only found Jesus three weeks, weeks ago. ago. And not only now they're moved past all the billions of Christians and now they're prophets. Hmm. So I, I find that quite uh interesting. Well, 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 you need to explain that. What do you mean? Well, um, they basically said, well, this one guy yesterday, um, he said he's John the Baptist. Oh, right. Okay. The reincarnation. And, yes, the reincarnation, reincarnation and John the Baptist. And th here's so, the best thing. That's possible for you, isn't it? No, 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 here's the best thing. He calls me the Judas snake, okay? Mm. I'm the Judas snake. But the way he proves <laughs> that he is John the Baptist is with numerology and astrology. So he's basically calling you the forbidden fruit. Yes, but he's the one. But he's using that knowledge to prove that he is John the Baptist okay. reincarnated. And again, this is all on Twitter. Now. What a cesspool Twitter no, but listen, has become. Let, but like, look, to, be, to play a del devil's exactly. advocate. Yeah. And I this mean, is Suleiman, by the way. Right, yeah, yeah, he has introduced yeah. himself. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for uh, having me. Yeah. I'm, the, I'm like basically the king of Twitter. But coming back to it. Damn. Yeah. 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 There's that 33 ego. Yeah. But, but, but here's the difference. 33rd deserved ego. He is the mm, king of Twitter. Yes. So, I mean, according to you, like he, you can be reincarnated. So maybe this is him being reincarnated. Yeah, right. And no, now he's in his right, like, solo. 100%. Right? I mean, he's a nine life path. Of course he's the chosen one. And I, I was about <laughs> to get to that. Isn't it kind of funny the two guys you're arguing with? Uh huh. We're both nines. Yeah, I know. It was it was quite hilarious that both these clowns were talking, you know, just shit about Christ and Jesus and Christianity. Same stuff stuff I do all the time. Yeah. But they were doing it last year. And now all of a sudden they are saying that they talk to angels. And, you know, they've been Christians for like three months. Yeah. It, it's just absolutely amazing. But he, it, this is what I keep telling people, all seriousness aside. Uh, the Christians out there, you have like a mental illness within your cult. Because Christianity is the biggest cult in the world, 2.3 million people, followed by Islam, which is 2.1 million people. But here's the point. I've never seen a Muslim tell me I am Allah's chosen one or anything like that. Not one time have I ever had a Muslim tell me, but I've had multiple Christians tell me this. So obviously these people don't represent Christianity, but that mental illness is alive and well, brother. Right. I mean, I think I'm Allah's chosen one. Oh, God, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. So, is he? So, I made a joke. It's like a Catholic, a Jew, and a Muslim. <laughs> and a Muslim walk into a bar, right? And no, uh, but a Muslim won't go to a bar, but yeah, yeah. I well, know the Jew, right? I mean, you'd be surprised, brother. I've seen quite a few. Uh, supposed I, I, I wouldn't go to a pig Muslims farm. in bars. For mm -hmm. sure. You know, C can Muslims go to strip clubs? No. no oh, I've, I've seen, seen, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen plenty, plenty, plenty of that, brother. Can we? Uh, maybe this is like so your lane right here but yeah. i've so i don't know a lot of people can't handle vegas a lot of people can't handle miami and mm -hmm. i've said this for a long time that miami's a lot crazier than actually vegas you think so i really believe so i truly believe so you have one real casino in miami yes one. The, the hard rock right the, no, no, but the, I'm the, I'm, which me and you spend a yeah, lot of time yeah, so we, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> over here you got a whole bunch of hard rocks yeah, yeah a whole yeah. hard rock and they're building another hard rock yeah, yeah too. Pretty, pretty much what was your question Oh, so so it was basically that um, in terms of like between, you know, Vegas, Miami are like two cities that like obviously more it's more of a gambling vice here. It, obviously women, women as well. But in Miami, it's a lot more, I would say more. It's more women. It's more like lust, mm. lust city where it, this used to be. It's still lust here. Like mm. I, I'm true, but it's gambling. It's a couple. It's a, it's entertainment and stuff like that. Different but, type uh, of lust. Different type of lust, but it is that, right? Mm. And I've just noticed, because I've, you know, been around the town a few times. I've been around Brickle. I've been on Fresh and Fade. I've seen this, and I've seen just a lot of people who are Muslim doing things that aren't very Muslim. 
as well as Christians, as well yeah, as, yeah. like Jews, Jews. I mean, every. I mean, it's everybody, right? What are, uh, what are Jews not supposed to do? I don't know. The, Something about lot, bacon. A lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Something about bacon. A lot, because Judaism is the most strict, strictest religion. Yes. Cause significantly. Now, in terms of Islam, what you're saying, of course, like, look, at the end of the day, to be a Muslim yeah. is basically to believe in Allah and to believe in the Prophet, peace be upon him. Now, right. that makes you a Muslim. But does it make you the, like, what an actual Muslim is meant to like be? Like a model Muslim? Yeah, a model Muslim. Oh, okay, 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 so gotcha. then it is following the rules, following the requirements, ensuring that you're the, the best of man, treating people with respect, right. not screwing people over, being loyal, you know, not breaking the laws of Islam. So that makes you like uh, the, the best Muslim or the best you can be. And you try and aspire to be the best you can. So if a Muslim basically does commit sin, yeah. then his way of combating that is to repent. So but we you have can a, repent. Yeah, of course. But, yeah. I mean, repentance is an important aspect. Of, so you, you can repent from being alcoholic if you're a Muslim. Yeah, yeah. Because what is repentance? Repentance isn't like, for example... And again, I don't want to like mischaracterize Christianity, but like, for example, in Islam, repentance isn't like saying a number of Hail Marys, mm -hmm. but it's truly in your heart regretting what you did. And if you truly, truly regret what you did, you won't do it again. So okay. therefore, it's the true repentance so, of the heart. So, so what happens to somebody that he's, mm. he's trying to repent, he repents, mm. he says he does, and then he, he falls back into it a year or two later. Which it, is which is possible because people are weak, right? Yeah. And so again, it's basically ensuring that he stops doing it. So, like for example, let's say someone did something wrong, then they repented, then they did something wrong again. Is basically your question. Then of course they may repent again because repentance isn't like, for example, saying, "Oh, I feel like I've done something wrong." It's truly, truly trying to change yourself. Now it can happen that you truly change yourself, and then unfortunately, man is weak. Yeah. Or the, some men are more weaker than others. You basically end up falling into this uh, depravity again, There's, and so therefore it's. Yeah, so, so, but, so, so God forgives you every time? If you truly uh -huh. repent. But you understand what I mean by true repentance. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess it's in your heart. It's feeling yeah. your soul. Yeah, yeah, this right, this right. is what I'm thinking. Like, Not know, just like there, I'm there, There's repent. a woman who mm. is married to someone and then she cheats on her husband. Mm. She feels real bad about it. No, then no. she does it again in the year. <laughs> <laughs> then she feels real bad about it. <laughs> then she sees the, the plumber. You know, it is what it is. So at what point do we start saying, yo, I know you really feel sorry. I'm doing yeah, grab, do grab the rock. I'm doing grab the rock. Yeah, that's what got me suspended on Twitter right there. So, I mean, it's a good question. First of all, I mean, feeling bad isn't the same as true repentance. Mm -hmm. The first thing, the true repentance is that thing that, generally speaking, if you do it properly and you actually feel it through your soul, you won't do it again. Also, there's another aspect to it, which is when you basically do something to another human being, mm -hmm. then you also need to obviously ask forgiveness from that human being and that person has to forgive you. So, for example, let's say I steal money of you. Mm -hmm. I can, you know, completely feel bad about it. I can feel complete repentance. Even then, that's right. not good enough. I actually have to get apologies. Where's my money, right? Yeah, like, exactly. I apologize to then. you. And then mm -hmm. if you forgive me, truly, mm -hmm. then it is. But do you view all, all humans as equal and stuff? Because there's tons of this stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. in the... Brought up Catholic, I, I mean, I mean, I don't know if this is how it was in the past and shit, in the 1400s or something like that, but at least how I was brought up, you know, everybody, it no, doesn't matter the religion, they're all humans, right? Mm. But in a lot of other religions, it's kind of like, yes, they're humans, but, you know, obviously we're, you know, we're up here and it's been, you know, a lot of religions have used this as a way to, you know, we can take advantage of these people because they're not, are, they're not Muslim. Goyal. Or they're, or Goyal, you know, yeah. <laughs> but, but, and I'm pretty sure. Talk, Catholic, I think you're asking him some questions. No, no, I'm asking both. I'm asking both. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 just no, put no. it out there. <laughs> yeah, but I'm asking both of you guys because I yeah, know yeah. for a fact the Christians did this. And the Catholics, or whatever, the yeah. fuck, whatever the hell it is, right? Yo, we need to we need to read the Talmud, like <laughs> <laughs> that's what we need to do. We have to show a podcast yeah. where all of us start reading the Talmud and then like having commentary over it. Yeah, so I think when it comes to Islam and Christianity, again, the actions of people don't aren't rep representative of, uh, or the actions of if when you're when you're in charge aren't representative of the entire uh, religion, mm. and so therefore. If you basically got a scenario where you uh, you're in charge, right. no, according to Islam, all man is equal, irrespective of race, religion, and creed. You treat them the same. Now, what happens is people misconstrue this concept of uh, jizya. Um, and I, I pay no jizya. Um, I ain't yeah. paying no jizzer. You're paying it right now, aren't you? I ain't paying shit. You're paying. Uh, are I'm we gonna, all paying jizzy up to your no, people? No, no, I know, no, no. Well, <laughs> I, 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 right again, again, I ain't tax. doing it. You yeah. might be. You pay I do, no, no. I, I, I pay taxes, <laughs> right, but okay. I don't pay to a Muslim caliphate, all which right, is who so would actually charge me a jizzer. So here's basically so what wait, it comes wait, down to. With with 
uh, uh, Sharia law, right, right. all non-Muslims have to pay a tax. So mm. you under the Ottoman Empire, which is very lenient in my very opinion. Crusades, by the way. Uh, very crusades. You know, when it, when it came, no, the Ottomans, <laughs> the Ottomans were very lenient. As a matter of fact, if I was to think of a country that was closest to the United States of America throughout the world's history, throughout human history, it wouldn't be the UK. It would be the Ottoman Empire, Empire. because they have a lot of different religious groups. And when the Ottomans conquered, it's they would let people keep their religion. They would just uh, charge them a jizza. Yeah. So here's the point. It's a very Rome, that's a very Roman thing. Something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. So here's the thing. When many it comes empires, down to it, many successful yeah, empires. I, I agree. Yeah. I agree. I like how you put successful in there. But when it comes down to it, you have to understand that I'm not paying a jizya. Okay, let me answer that question. There's two parts to it, right? First of all, when you talk about jizya or taxation, right. many would argue that right now we are paying jizya, <laughs> but it's to the Jews, right? Because what is the tax shit? Um, all the Zionists or whatever you want to call it, right? So what is the taxation system? But basically who we're paying taxes to, right? right? We're paying it to the government and we know who the elite are and who's behind it also. Look, In reality- like, why, why, why are you guys looking at me, <laughs> man? I'm not, I'm not <laughs> why are you guys looking at me, man? That's the first, I don't wear shit. Y'all over here talking about the caliphate. Right. <laughs> and then the second thing is in terms of jizya. Look, this is completely misconstrued. I actually was writing an academic paper on this back in the day. So what jizya is a taxation system System where you're basically incorporated as part of the empire. Now, what the taxation system is, is just like non-Muslims paid what you call jizya taxation. The Muslims still paid their own taxation. Less. It was Muslims pay less. No, no, actually, that's not true. No, no, so, Muslims paid less, no, no, and the jizya was higher for non. No, 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 it's not. So that that, it, that is why the way it, it was the Ottoman Empire. No, no, it wasn't. In the Ottoman Empire, the, the, it wasn't. Was, there, it was wasn't. Still, there was tolls. It was foreign and stuff to go through a land. It was varied. Yeah. It varied. So some did pay less, but it, others paid more. So it depended. It depended. I actually did it like I was right. So, they're going to let their uh, conquered opponents pay less taxes than their actual subjects. No, no, because no, 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 everyone was conquered, right? But you mean Muslims to non-Muslims, yes, right? Exactly. So there were certain areas where they played the same amount I'm, as what Jizya I'm, I'm was. I'm sure it's there very, was, very small. It, but there was some. And so in reality, what Jizya is, is basically a contractual agreement that, look, you're going to become part of the empire. You're not going to be conquered. Your land's not going to be taken over. It's like a basically a contractual agreement, which happened. So it wasn't like a two-tier system. It was like your land being incorporated into the empire. Um, so that's what Jizya yeah. was, which is actually literally completely different to now. Because if you look at it now, what is the taxation we're paying? So at that time, I believe Jizya in certain areas was like 8%, No, no, I 9%, get that. I get that. I get that. I get that. Now, what different you, what, but, times. What, 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 I mean, what but could, you, could that country leave if they wanted to? Or whatever no, that territory? No, no. They'll get, they'll get this, this is the exact same yeah. system that the fucking Aztecs had. I literally watched a video this yeah. morning about the Aztecs. Mm -hmm. They ran the same system. Except if you didn't fall in line, you would get fucking mm -hmm. destroyed. Get scalped. Scalped. No, right? no, that's the whole point. So, so they no, wait, 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 wait. That's the whole point. <laughs> no, 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 no. That is the no, no, that, no, no, no. That is the whole point because at that time, okay. when empires are expanding, yes, you basically. Go, for example, now when the Brits, when they went to India, if you look at it, there wasn't mass slaughter. Why wasn't there mass slaughter in India? Because the Indians kind of gave up. No, and, so, I, look, and I'm so, not attacking you for. I'm not attacking you for this because no, not, all, all because I'm, mm. I'm with you. Look, doesn't matter. Every they all, everyone did it. Absolutely, everybody did that to a certain extent. Some just completely decided just to break them down and assimilate. Other ones, no, keep your keep your religion, keep your people, but you're going to pay us something. And if you don't, and if you don't give us soldiers, you don't give us people. Yeah, yeah, them, you're, we're going to fuck you up. That, but everyone, the, the everyone did this. did this. Everyone this did this. This is a part of the system. I'm every, just saying, every empire did this. Did yes. this no matter to what. Some, to some extent, to some level no, of, of like. Actually, I would say this was probably the most humane way of doing it because if you go to another country. And you're basically saying that, look, we'll incorporate as part of the empire. We're not going to murder you. Uh, murder you. We're not going to rape your women. We're not going to steal everything for you. Mm -hmm. You just need to pay a taxation they, they, system, they, right? They do it at first, and then when they put up the white flag, then they offer terms. No, no, uh, no, no. In terms of fighting, yeah, I get, I get. Yeah, the fighting's over. Yeah. So let no, me, no, you, not always. Sometimes, let me. Sometimes the agreement they give up fighting. before they start yeah, yeah, fighting. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. let me give you an example of how this actually works. Say you buy a house. Okay. Okay. It's your house, your land. What happens if you don't pay taxes on that uh, property for a couple of years? It's not yours. Exactly. So yeah. this is the same type of system that, uh, you know, it's the Chisel was yeah. giving. Yeah, it's yours and yours. But if you don't actually pay up, we're taking that shit. Yeah. If you ain't paying the good old boys, you lose it. If you ain't paying the whatever you want, the Jews, you ain't, you ain't keeping it. If you ain't paying the fucking caliphate. You ain't keeping it. You know, it's it's whoever's holding the reins. On that land, well, or territory right, right now you're not playing America. And what is America? America is either a Christian country, which is many claims run by Jewish people or Zionists or whatever it may be. But for example, your taxation system is completely horrific. Like what I was, I had people telling me, "Oh my God, Florida is amazing." I was like, "What's the taxation?" I think I was told it was like thirty-seven point five percent. 
on defense. That's federal. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's no state federal. tax. It's, it's federal. Every federal. Crazy. Thirty-seven percent. No, I'm with. Okay, bro, I, I am with you on this. Yes, it's freaking ridiculous. You're yeah, earning yeah, yeah. that money yeah. and then giving it to the but, Cal- but, Caliphate, but, as you call it. But, but this but, time it's yeah. America. But, but I, I, the, the, I mean, it's not like the UK is much better. Bro. No, no, yeah. we are better. So our taxation is twenty percent. No, oh, it's twenty percent. Bro, check. I've got enough. Stop. I got enough people in the UK telling me, man, they stop. You know, they're fucking running. They're running to Dubai, bro. No, no, socialist, bro. Any man, they got fucking millionaire tax over there. All this other no, shit, no, so bro. UK taxation system is like 20% up until you earn about 40,000 pound, which is about fifty thousand mm-hmm. dollars and then you after that it's uh forty percent. But you can't live on that forty percent. Yeah. But, but it's, 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 it's like a mirror, it's like a no forty percent. You, what, you, you well, brother, you cannot no, then, die on this hill. You no, 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 <laughs> Stop, no, bro. The UK. no yeah. There's better things to talk. There's better no, no, things to no, talk, no, no, bro. I don't think UK is brilliant. Don't get me wrong. It's the same. I'm, I'm no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I'm, it's the system's the it's, same. It's just, but my yeah. point is, like, even in the UK, you can set up a company and pay less percentage. Correct, I guess it'll be same here as well. But my point is, the worker gets fucked. The corporations get tax cuts. Yeah. Yes. But the point is, coming back to all of it, we're all paying tax, right? Yeah. We're all paying a huge amount of taxes. We're all paying taxes to pedophiles, right? We're paying, right? G- we're paying jizia, right? Mm. But it's not religious tax. Well, I mean, yeah. it's not religious tax. Shout out to Money Gang Crypto, man. My UK expat. I guess. Expat. brother. I, guess <laughs> I literally just had a UK expat that just broke down the whole tax code for us, and he just said, "Run away." I mean, it was as soon as you can. I mean, because that's crazy. I mean. They have somewhat. I mean, it's a somewhat. It's, it's, it's a fucking police state. It's they got state. cameras over where, uh, everywhere. They're not it, even it, televising it, all the it, fucking riots it, it, right it, now. It, it, honestly, in, in, in what country within the UK would I go to jail for my tweets? In right. which one? Well, I mean, I agree with that. I think I I, I have a problem with uh. the UK becoming a police state significantly before uh. the riots. Yeah. I feel started, safer in Russia. I literally was probably the only person on Twitter. On social media, when everybody else was like playing their own teams or literally getting manipulated by social media, I was. What, what do you like, mean by teams? Like the political teams, or like the? What do you mean the religious teams? Political teams. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't really a religious thing. It was more of a political thing, oh, wasn't okay, it? Yeah, okay, okay. Or, or racial thing, or whatever you want. Yeah, because I, I, because I, I found out, I found out about you through, of course, Fresh and Fit, and yeah. through, you know, through Myron, and then uh, you know, GG right here, shout out to Fresh. But um, what, can, you, can you give people a little bit of your background in terms of like um, I know we're like now about thirty three uh, who came so, up. Oh, that's his background. Yeah, but can you give people a little. I mean, wh- like how you think of Twitter, like how you think uh, of Twitter. Like, well, what's your background, brother? So, like my background's academic. Okay. Um. So uh, basically, I've got a degree in law. Then I became a maths teacher. Uh. Then I did an MA in philosophy, and I was doing my PhD in philosophy. So I've written like quite a lot of articles in the past. Okay. Um. And then I was running like a school. And then basically, I started the Twitter thing in um, around December 2022, January 2023. Oh, okay. Uh, I always had an account, but then I just started doing it properly. Uh, so initially, I looked into the Tate case. So a lot of people were attacking Tate. Yeah. Um. So I was the only one who was like defending yeah. basically. And the, these are the lawsuits from the UK that were they were trying to at that time. Them. At that time, it was Romania. Oh, Romania. It, yeah. Okay. At that time, it, they'd been basically incarcerated based on allegations in Romania. So anyway, I was like one of the only ones defending them. So I started blowing up quite a lot. And then I went to America. And while I was in America, I spoke to a few sources. And then I, quite a lot of the case got blown up because of like some of the investigations yeah. I did. So I became quite big then. I think I got like within a short period of time, like 100,000 followers. Oh, and wow, then um, October 7th happened. Uh, I, and then again, I was pro-Palestine. And at that time, when I made the decision to like support Palestine, and to do it significantly, I I thought there's a very good chance I'd get cancelled. Right. And I actually thought most people are going to be pro-Israel, like, at that time. Because you just yeah. don't know how the, how it's going to fall, right? And especially because you know all the social media's are. Them boy memes are powerful, brother. Sorry? Them boy memes are powerful, <laughs> brother. Which boy memes? <laughs> no, them boys. Oh, okay, them, okay, okay. Them, okay, them yeah, boy memes are powerful. Yeah, yeah. But so, can, I, can I just say one yeah. thing in terms of, like, the, the U.S. side of this? Mm. As... From the white boys to the Hispanics and, you know, just the, a good chunk of the United States, right? Um, most Americans are just are, they, they, I mean, they're, they obviously don't know much that's going on over there, if I'm being really honest. Hmm. But the, most Americans most don't know, Americans what don't know what's going on outside, outside of their own fucking town, right? Most, most guys don't even know what their girl's doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hi, Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, the average American really just, honestly, I've talked to enough people who are like, what are they, they just don't care. They don't, they want both countries to just shut the fuck up. They don't care. They they just they just don't want to hear it anymore. Like at the average American now, it's whatever's going down there is pretty fucked up, obviously. And like, and th- this is where like the whole thing is like, you, you just I just I'm just tired of seeing kids getting fucking blown up and getting mm. hurt. I mean, I both I mean both sides. I just, I'm just I don't like I mean I don't like schools getting targeted. Now you fix this. Now like you fix this. 
So, vote Donald Trump. Trump. Yes, yeah, right. Vote uh, Donald Trump. Trump. You do that, you yeah. fix this, he will get this war done as soon as he's yeah. president within a month. Ukraine ends, this yeah. ends, and then we can have peace by the end, and then we can start so singing I Kumbaya. I, I mean, I'm not sure about in terms of American demographics. I do see a lot of people protesting. I do travel a lot of the, a lot yeah. of America, and a, a lot of them are actually quite surprisingly pro-Palestine, especially. But, but in terms of... But that's, like, a very, that's a very loud minority. Okay. Yeah. Very maybe. loud minority. Because the, major, the majority is very silent yeah. and doesn't mm. care. Doesn't, and then, and then I guess that shows like the UK is a lot more educated because the UK, yeah. we have like... Well, because you, you know what they mean by education, though? It's just they really, they just means they travel to fucking Europe, yeah. Which is like it's the size easy. of a fucking peanut. No, no, it's not we, about no, no, it's not about travel. So, like for example, now you've got thirty to forty million uh, adults in the UK, mm -hmm. roughly, um, and of them, in one weekend, for example, we had one point three million people protest. One point three million, and the UK in itself, we've had millions. And they were protesting what exactly? Uh, protest protesting against the genocide that's happening in Palestine. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So. The UK population is significant, significantly for it to the extent where the Zionist controlled uh, government. But was that mostly the Muslims in the country? No, or? no, it wasn't. I would say the vast majority of protesters, nearly 80, 90 percent, were actually non Muslim. Because remember, the UK is the Muslim population in the UK is only 6 percent. What's in the United States? The UK Muslim population. Yeah, in the United States. Um, it's about three to seven million. So, isn't so it? it's bigger in the UK percentage wise. Proportionally, yeah. Yeah, a yeah. much bigger, correct? For sure. Okay, so yeah. maybe that has something to do with why they're more, much more pro-Palestine than uh, uh, people in America. Maybe, or maybe they're a lot more educated because the vast majority of people. Um, yeah, you're right. The vast it's seven percent. Seven percent. Yeah, six point five. I think it is. Not sure um, about so, educated um, is the right word. No, no, because it is. They're geopolitically aware, right? And so what happens? Well, is, they're closer to it too. I mean, I mean, yeah. and, um, I, 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 no, I mean but listen. They, to say that the UK is better than anything uh, that Americans do is blasphemy. No, no, I'm not saying they're better. But my point is, <laughs> but, well, but, why, like, but like, can we stop? But like, just because they're educated about this one thing, but that's just because you care about it. And now they're educated. It's like, it's like if you knowing about fucking. I mean, if, if, we're, if we're into Jersey, if like I know this is not fair, but like if. We care about Jersey Shore. Like we're educated on Jersey yeah, Shore, yeah, 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 and like yeah, you want to know yeah, the fuck yeah, about yeah, that. And obviously, that's yeah. fucking stupid. That's a stupid and, 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 thing, I mean, but, there's like, a lot I wouldn't more. call that education. Yeah. Actually, no, 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 no. But that's, <laughs> that's what we're talking about. But some people could say, but like, and I look now. I'm standing on useless a, now. I'm standing on a very stupid hill right here. I'm standing on a very stupid hill. Go over to like any college and university grounds, right. right? There is protests for Palestine and all that. For sure. For sure. For sure. So there is plenty in both sides. It's just. Proportionally, I don't know. But like, yeah, I tell, but the America has gone much more on the on on not just conservative, but just the conspiracy theory, right? I mean, just enough conspiracy theories have happened in the internet. This is why they're trying to shut down the internet and everything. They're trying to good stop. luck and good luck on that. Hmm. But like, I mean, the the. The, mo the moment that they started trying to arrest people in the UK for tweets and reposts, America stood with the UK on that. Oh, who, who, wrote, fucking who wrote that tweet? What UK person wrote oh, that tweet? I, well, you, you know what I'm talking I, about? Yeah, what know, UK person said, Americans, you can't say whatever you, you want. We will extradite you to the UK. It was the minister of something. It was the minister I, of something, man. Yeah. Listen, to that bitch, come fucking get me. So let me like tell you what the circumstance of that okay, is. Please. So um, in terms of like I said, there was a huge amount of pro-Palestinian protests right okay, at the beginning. Yes, yes. And so what happened was they wanted to shut them down. So people like Swella Braverman, who's married to an Israeli IDF agent, people like Rishi Sunak, people like uh, Priti Patel, the mm -hmm. various people in the government, they wanted to shut it down to the extent where even some protests, like for example, one woman protester had a picture of a coconut Coconut means basically black on the inside, white on the inside. Oh, sorry, black oh. on the outside, white on the inside. <laughs> Oreo. Oreo. You learn something new every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oreo. Right. So they Upside used down pumpkin. Yeah. So they had a picture of a coconut with a, an image of Rishi Sunak and Swella Braverman on mm. in the protest. They got arrested. Right. So this was happening very early on because they wanted to shut it down. They wanted to, and Swella Braverman said she wants to ban protests and she wants to ban all speech against the Zionist state. Right. So then what happened was. But the UK public won't allow it because they're all for Palestine, largely speaking. As I said, I'll yeah. give the example of the protest. So what they did was these protests, which were initiated by Tommy Robinson, who is linked to the Zionists, and to and so what he does is he perpetuated these protests in a significant manner. They lied about the person who did the stabbing. They lied that he was a Muslim. They lied that he was a uh, uh, came on a on a on a, a boat a year before. They lied that he was an illegal immigrant, right. and they caused these riots. So and what does that to do with Americans? No, no, I'm, I'm about to explain. Okay. But these riots were perpetuated on social media mm -hmm. by many right-wing accounts, which originate in in the US. For example, mm -hmm. uh, people like Libs of TikTok, mm -hmm. people like 
Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. People like Ian Armstrong, even though he's not in here. People like Rebel News. Mm -hmm. All of these guys perpetuated the end of wokeness. All of them are like Zionist, a Jewish mm -hmm. accounts originating in the US. And so what they did was they caused a lot of these riots in the UK. UK. So they use this to censor speech. They use this to ban, they're going to use this in the future, watch to ban protests. Because the aim is how, has always been since those original protests to basically end free now speech. Now they have the excuse. And, and now they've got the excuse. So, so, so I you... called it up at the beginning. I said, look, this is what's going to happen. But obviously people are too dumb. Right. So, uh, so what you're basically saying, the people in power are pro-Israel and yeah. the people are for Palestine. Exactly. But, Sounds so, right. so, okay, so like, let's, so that's up to a point. Now, do you think the conspiracy theory time, do you think that basically they started seeing that the populace was going towards Palestine? So do you think that they possibly used, um, you know, Muslims or whatever to, to start, um, not, a, I want to, I want to call it like a race war or like anything about religion, but basically making like people mad at Brown or black people in the UK in order to like, kind of muddle the entire image because that's what it if, if i'm just think, thinking complete mm. conspiracy theory like mm. that but, makes a lot of sense because i'm see, i've i've stopped seeing the whole palestine thing from the uk it just sort of seems like we're sick of these muslims in the country no, yeah. in the uk that no, but just, that's not the case this is what i'm trying to say so like for example if you look at the uk mm. you basically got this guy so it wasn't the muslims who started it it was this guy from rwanda basically his parents are from rwanda he's okay. born in UK. He's a Christian guy okay. who actually did the stabbing. They lied and said it was a Muslim guy to get mm. Muslim. Tommy Robinson, who is a Zionist controlled uh, agent, basically lied and said it was a Muslim guy to create Muslim hatred. The next day, there was another guy who came with a knife. He was actually a white Christian guy, yeah. but they lied that he was a Muslim guy to again perpetuate Muslim hate. And so it, 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 it was basically orchestrated. It's not a conspiracy it's theory. It's actually fact. Okay. They orchestrated this to cause these basically riots. So then these people start rioting, start attacking police officers. Basically what BLM were doing in the UK, US, yeah. yep. they did it in the UK. Now in certain areas, uh, Soros. yeah, so in certain areas, what happened was there was some Muslims who came out to defend themselves. So then there was these kind of fights. While so there was a video him. of like, yeah, yeah, yeah which yeah, you saw yeah. in a couple of areas, but not many because yeah. a lot of these writers, they didn't go to areas where there was a large proportion of Muslims because in some areas there is a large proportion. Of Muslims. For example, they didn't go to London because they knew that in London, like they're going to get battered, right? Yeah. So they went to areas where it was vastly outnumbered, you know. What's the percentage of Muslims in London? In London, it's 15%. 15? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gosh, so a little much higher there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a pretty big percentage. Yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I do think percentage. I do think it's a lot higher than you because this is from 2021. It is 6.5, like you said. Yeah. But I would imagine because they're actually having kids. <laughs> yeah. A lot, <laughs> a, lot, a lot of kids, right? I would imagine it's probably closer to seven now or it'd a little higher. Seven, yeah, because yeah, yeah. you know it's been, that's yeah. three years. That's three years. Probably, and I remember, remember, there's been a population collapse amongst the white populace because mm -hmm. in the they UK they don't have babies anymore. They don't have they kids, have and in the UK, Christianity's died. Right. So, what was that? Christianity's died. In oh the UK wow. Because what happened was, um, again, people like they're Protestant there, but yeah. Yeah, as, yeah, as the US, yeah. So uh, mm, more Christian, it's Christian. Christian it's, 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 a, it's a mixture, but yeah. No, no, but in the US, it's uh, the majority is Protestant. It's, it's Christian. I'm it's Christian. It's Catholic. Catholic. It's Christian. It's, it's, no, no, a Christian is Protestant, right? Well, it's, it's, so, when people say Christian, they mean they mean like that. It's, there's it's no, kind of like that, there's the houses. Yes, exactly. yeah, there's no, the houses. No, but if you look at Christianity in the US, you, from Christianity, when you look at the Protestants and the Catholics, there's more Protestants than Catholics in the US, right? Significant. I'd, I'd, have look it up. I'd have to look it up, but, no, but, no, yeah, but, already, but there's more, pro there's more Protestants. <laughs> yeah. there's, there's more. There's more Protestants east of the Mississippi. Like, so, that, so that's basically, that's where in, in the West, in the West, yeah. so in America and Western Europe, there's more Protestants, and then and, and then swing it around. In like, for example, South America, there's more Catholics compared to Protestants. That is it, that's I mean, that's true. That, yeah. That's true in South America. Yeah. 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 So, but in, in the US, there is there's much more. This is a Protestant country. America traditionally is a Protestant country, right? Catholics have always been the minority. Yeah. Um. I forgot what we come on to that point, but my point is coming back to it. The, I don't even know what point we were making, but anyway. I know. I, I, you yeah. should, no, no, hold on. When you actually like forget your thoughts, yeah. you're supposed to like basically milk it. You're supposed to <laughs> no, no, it, just, You can't say that you forgot no, your no, thoughts. No, no, I forgot the part. I've no, got so no, many points to make. Go with this. No, 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 Interview is meant to be like, no, oh, no, you change this. the subject. No, 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 but no, no, no. You change the subject. It, That's no, what they owe you do. No, we, we change the subject, but I mean, like, but mm. we were on the whole vein. We're on this whole kind of vein of going. I mean, I think the original thing we were talking about, like, what is what is educated versus not educated, right? Yeah. No, well, yeah. I, my point about the U, U, UK is when when also I was talking about population collapse. So we, in yeah. so why Christianity has died in the US, UK is just think about this. In 2011, there were 75 percent Christians, yeah. right? In 2021, just in 10 years. It's 45%.
bunch of atheists. Minority. Now, so 30%. Yeah. But that 30% didn't go to Islam. No, no, no. That 30% went to atheism. atheism so yeah. atheism took over. But the reason why in the UK atheism took over is because people like Tommy Robinson, the far right Islamophobes, attacked Islam. You know what? They attacked Islam based on monotheistic values. They said, oh my God, these guys are against LGBTQ. These guys are against feminism. These are guys are against all of these ideologies. And what they did was, both from the right and the left, they basically made Christianity die because Christ them values are in Christianity as well. Yeah. But what happened then is people then move away from them ideas. So they were a big part component of why Christianity died in the UK. In Remember, the UK. UK is a country, unlike the US, uh, okay. which actually had uh, 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 fought for religion. They fought religious wars. They fought against the pagans. And yet now Christianity is a minority. Well, Christianity religion. is dying everywhere. Let's be honest. It's not just But not here. as fast in the US, right? No, no not, not as fast, fast but it's dying here. But, but listen. They've been pushing atheism forever. Sorry? They've been pushing atheism forever, at least in, in Western media, for a long time. But it's time. not drop much. I believe in the US in 10 years, it only dropped like 5 to 8%. Yeah. So that's nothing. It's, it's not, but, I, I think it's dropped around women a lot higher percentage because women used to, you know, believe in, uh, you know, in, 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 in uh, family and stuff. Yeah, yeah, feminism, feminism, did yeah. On, feminism did a number on religion, and they're much more feminine, uh, feminized in the UK than they are in America. That's number one. Number True. two, uh, I believe the UK, uh, by percentage, has more whores than any other. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm being dead serious. <laughs> more butterfly they, they tattoos. More whores, more butterfly, <laughs> butterfly tattoos, tattoos than any other uh, nation state. So the UK has got its problems. It's a failed state. It's a collapsed empire. Yeah. And honestly, I don't think much of the UK. I'd rather live in Russia personally. Mm. Putin. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Uh, shout out to Tino. <laughs> but. Um, no, so okay, so so you're, yeah, I mean, I'm with you. This whole this whole birthing coll collapse and stuff like that. I, I think actually, the way I think, I mean, if 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 I know how kind of how I think the world's kind of going in in a certain mm -hmm. way, I do think at some point um, a lot of the Muslim countries because they are Westernizing, even though you uh, not to like a crazy extent with I agree. because they're, they're being a lot stronger on, yeah, on yeah. but I agree. they are weak. The reins are it's weakening a little. Bit. I agree. I agree. And so I think population will, I mean, it's going to slow down there too, but it's, True. but they're, they're, but you guys are way more ahead in terms of having kids than, than the West. Is. It's the, fucking crazy. I mean, fucking so, like South Korea is like dead now. I mean, they're, why? they're, they're Japan. Like, why do you think that one's, well, they, obviously they have their own type of really, I, I, I'm not entirely sure it's what wealth, religion they, they, it's wealth. It's, when, it's, when, it's wealth. When, it's wealth. When, 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 when people have money, they have women. less kids. Yeah. So, and women, edu you know, education yeah. of women. That's what it is. So in reality, so, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, what it is. is it? So South Korea's population collapse is worse than the U.S. and the U.K. So no, for example, it's South Korea and Japan is yeah. 0 0.5 and 0 0.8 birth rate per child. Yeah. Now, what's the reason for it? Some say, as he said, modernity. But we do have modernity in the U.K. We have modernity in the U.S. So what is our maternity 3x better than South Korea's? No. In reality, it is that is a factor, but there's actually multiple factors. Modernity, in my view, there's also a lack of religion. When you have a lack of religion, lack of monotheistic values, you're not having children. The other one is complete, like literally it's a lesbian state. Because like none of these women, Lesb none of these lesbians. What, what? Yeah. How many South Korean women are getting with South Korean guys? No, but that's not lesbianism. <laughs> what are you yeah. talking about with lesbianism? How many South Korean women are getting with South Korean men? I mean, still I, some, I, I but mean, like, well, like, well, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. He, he's he's a, like a walking encyclopedia. But how the fuck do you know how many South Korean women, women are gay with South West. Korean men? Where'd you find this statistic? No, I'm telling you, I'm telling you now. I don't know. I'm telling you. I'm now. more stuck on the lesbian. Where'd you find this statistic? <laughs> because, no, 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 I'll explain why. Yeah. I'll, because uh, betray. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, there's a lot. There's there's more. Breed, there's more inbreed. I mean, not inbreeding, but there's more what's called uh, breeding outside the race and stuff. I more like. Well, that's the problem. It's not happening that much. So what's happening in reality in South Korea is this. Right. So South Korea, the women are not getting with the men. Right. And so who are they getting with? Exactly. They're still getting fucked. So, no, 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 stop. They're yeah. still getting fucked. Let's just let's just, but they're still getting fucked. No, no, they're not. So if you look at South Korea and Japan, there's a significant, you know, you look at do you talk about incel culture in the yes. US and UK? No, yeah, they, in, they, their incel culture is in, well, it's insane. Signif you've been there, right? Yeah. No, no, I've it, not been there, but I have I've been read about from it. there. Yeah, so it's yeah, significantly worse, right? So the, it's, it's horrifically bad. Like they have a culture, incel culture, which is a million times worse, even to the extent where they, you know, when we talk about OnlyFans or we talk about all these things, they have things like that, but much worse. Like, for example, they'll go to coffee shops and in the coffee shops, win on, you know, like who, like you guys got Hooters. Is yeah. it Hooters? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. They'll have that version, yeah. but much worse, where a man will just go there drinking tea just in the hopes that he'll be served by the man. The, yeah. the sim it's, it's a much bigger sim culture. Exactly. And, and OnlyFans sort of yeah, culture yeah. before OnlyFans. Yeah. No, I'm, yeah. no, yes. I'm and if you look at a lot of the manga, like if you look at Japanese, 
uh, you know, your, your yeah, manga, 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 right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, manga, sorry. A lot of it initially used to not be like this. Now, if you look at it, it's all, a lot of it's LGBTQ. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I will agree on that. Yeah. yeah. But whoa, 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 LGBT, whoa, whoa, LGBT. whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, whoa. Yes. What enemies you The watching? MAGA no, it, in Japan is LGB. Yeah. Yeah. So the what people. What MAGA's you be wait, watching? Wait, 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 wait. They, they, they the, the sprinkle people it in. who the support comics. Trump. Again, I want to no, make. No, 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 manga, manga. It's manga. manga. No, the comics. Manga the comics. like the comics. Like you talking about. Anime, basically. Well, anime. I'm very okay, lost okay, in the okay, enemies okay, and mongols okay, y'all okay. talking about right now. I'm very happy. It's true. I didn't, it's they're true. not they're like Trump supporters over there. Because usually the only lesbian shit these bitches flag. do is because they're, they're lessing out and they're going to fuck the main character <laughs> <laughs> as well as like part of the concubine. But like, because like that's actually what's going on there. And because as a such as a subject expert here um, on on, uh, on these on these animes, like on many things, on, right? on, on many things. But but like legitimately, they're all they're all basically male fantasies. Most of the most of the manga and and animes are male fantasies, and most of them are basically uh, the the big ones are going. Uh, what, what are they called, Kyle? When you basically uh, isekais, isekais, right? Isekais is the big thing around. Basically, I'm I'm a fucking loser. I'm just a loser. I fucked up my life, and like tr a truck hits me in the uh, hits truck me coon. a truck coon hits me. I die. I wake up in a, in a middle evil world. And, and I basically, have powers. and I have powers, and, and, and I still it. have my knowledge, and it's like this entire fantasy where you get to restart your life. Yo, over again. It, it sounds like these prophets on Twitter. <laughs> Just believe on <laughs> me, send your money, right? <laughs> yo, yo I, I don't know. It's kind of troubling that you guys know so much about this, and I never even heard about this in my life. Oh, it's like, it's, what it's, the it's, fuck? It's, it's, it's called being well read. Yo, I don't know about this. It's kind of about looking at shit. Yo, the milkers are well read, bro. What is <laughs> no, but 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 that's actually that's the big thing is because they you're right they do have a very closed off culture. They're, they're much they're much more timid, lower. T I mean everything. Yeah, bro. I mean like I everything. Testosterone low. Yeah. Cucked out. I mean it's yeah. I mean, obviously in two, and then they have a, they have cultures that are very um they're working them to the fucking bone as well. It's very hardcore work culture. True. They they are they did because they a lot of them they took a lot of the classic slaves. Yeah, it's clay. They took a lot of the actual the the, the work culture they kind of had in the states back in the fifties and stuff because they modeled. I mean, the, the whole systems were modeled after you know um, it was like. Um, it was basically modeled after the the World War II systems the United States had, that, and then that that was put into place, and then from there they just molded it to however the fuck they had it, uh, mm. they wanted well, to. We, they need reparations, brother. Yeah, because I mean, it's and then the reasons <laughs> like you, they allowed more cap like natural capitalism to happen in in Japan. This is why in Japan it, it it it's doing a lot better than South Korea. Where in South Korea they went more for total monopolies. Total, I mean, absolute Samsung. monopoly. Samsung, LG, yeah. Yeah. they're actually, um, love... they're actually lords. They're mm. actually, they own everything. Mm. Absolutely, basically, you're a fucking loser if you don't work for Samsung or mm. LG. Like if you, if you, if you take, if you, if you don't shout do out Samsung, shout out Samsung, shout out Samsung, baby. Samsung with the phone over here. <laughs> Apple's at, okay. Apple's at here. Apple lagging. got this. Apple Apple's lagging behind. Apple yeah, game. Right there, baby. <laughs> and <laughs> Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> Where's your American phone? I thought you were uh, about America. Yo, man. Um, Tim Cook is a, a homosexual, so <laughs> I can't really support that. But I mean, to be honest, if I want to be honest. Here's yeah. my Apple. Ah, okay. No, so is it, the Apple got the mirror in the back. So I that, hope that makes the LGBTs <laughs> in fucking but, California all happy. But it's it's a bunch of it's a bunch of fantasies. Like and it basically they're not yeah. they're not they're not going up. Also, this is a big thing. You know, shout out to Michael Sartain and a lot of the guys in the Red Pill. But it's also this whole thing too, because you know, women like you know, men make the rules for women. Women make the rules for men, right? It, in the in the larger sense, and obviously, mm. if you if you look at the whole religious thing, right? I'm I'm not talking about that, but I'm just talking about if you if left people to their own devices, it's you know the women choose top men, and then the top men compete against each other to be to to get the pecking order, and then basically mm. women women fuck the winners, right? So so eighty percent of women have babies, but yet uh, only sixty percent of men have babies. What does that yeah. tell you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it's less than that. Yeah, probably. So I'm just no, I'm, I'm, I'm writing it up. If you look at the entire history of a man, actually, it's one to sixteen. So if you look at the DNA that's passed on yeah. from mm -hmm. time to time, but every sixteen women, only one man's DNA has been passed on. Genghis it, Khan's got about ten percent of everybody, but yeah, it's crazy. It, yeah, and then there was this whole thing during like the Ice Age. If I believe it, um, if the, I, not, not the ice age, just the, the the facts are saying that like the average guy who did have kids, big that's a big distinction. Yeah, had two kids, one from one with one woman, one with another woman. Mm. That was the average. A woman would have 
one to two kids on average. Mm. But it was it was like Who something survived, like yeah, yeah, that survived. There was like ninety five percent of women had at least one child, mm. ninety five, and then there, obviously there's ones that had way more. And then it changed as we went from hunter to gatherer to extra societies and stuff, mm. and you could actually have way more. But so you're right. It's always like the women, the women not choosing the bottom rung is like how basically the, the whole mm. we evolve or whatever, or we change the species, or you know traits get passed on. What like, what we call those are GG three three haters. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> the smurfs, the black pill. Yes. <laughs> But um, the non-triers, right? But that's, um, I mean, but that, but what's going on now is that you know this is this is this is just like Twitter's changed your life and stuff like this and all this stuff. Social media's changed my life, but it's also fucked our and warped our perception. Both not not just in the Christian world, but the Muslim world. Everything, everything. It's this phone, this these apps, this Instagram, the Twitter, the the YouTube has has like warped our our entire minds because. We can't. Shout like, out we, team we, we basically can't. We, we can you imagine? Like, I mean, I like I grew up playing in playgrounds and you're know, riding bicycles outside. Now there's tablet kids, mm. right? And this isn't. I and I imagine if it isn't in every country, it's going to be in every country. Mm. And you, sure, like the, the tablet might might be in whatever language it is, and it might be shit teaching kids about their personal religions or whatever. But they're still on the tablet, no matter what. And at some point, they're gonna figure out a way to get you know get off the, and into the video games or into the fucking media and stuff that they want to see. But but that's the main thing that's fucked it up really is feminism. And then the other side is basically women and guys seeing the other life, the other life. So you're seeing million, you're seeing people who are dead broke, pretending that they're rich. You're seeing their friends. IG just, is full of those. Well, IG is full of that. Right. So is Miami. Yeah. Miami's a big one, man. I mean, people, I mean, I, I've said this on fresh and Bit before we're like, you know, people will spend, will save all year just to be a baller for a weekend in Miami. <laughs> Mm. They'll rent the Lambo, they'll mm -hmm. pop in bottles, yep. and then go back home on fucking Spirit. Yep. Dead broke. I mean, I'll take Spirit, but I need the big C in the front. Yeah, yeah you need the big C. <laughs> well, I'll you know, take Spirit. Shot, yeah. uh, Spirit has saved my ass a couple times because sometimes it's the only airline. <laughs> yeah. oh, only direct one, or you know, yeah, yeah, all yeah, these yeah, other yeah. ones. Are cheap. So I'm not shitting on it, but like, but but I'm just I'm just trying to say this this whole anything's sort of thing. better than Frontier though. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. Frontier. Frontier is so <laughs> shit. Oh, fuck oh Frontier. <laughs> Mortal enemy. I hate that fucking airline. They fucked me out of two flights already. Same here. Hate, two times soon. Fuck Same here. But um, but it's just this whole thing of like, you know, I mean, and you know, envy, you know, is just you're the seal of joy. I mean, like, um, women are just seeing the kind of lives if if, if all they saw on social media were people living like a modest life, having family and stuff, those those good virtues, then that's what they would aspire to. But they're being shown all this horrible shit. And the same thing now. I, at least from what I've seen from friends who are, you know, Muslim and stuff in whatever, in their social medias, they're still being shown. I mean, women that are still like the women are being shown materialism still. There's, there's still, they could, I still, at the very least, do see a lot of family stuff going on, at least over there in terms of their social media, but I still see the materialism. And that's just, that leads into bad places over time. It's just going in a much slower rate. Where in America, you're seeing, the, so fuck the family. It's all about me. I need to ball out. I need to have other things. You know, it, what is like, I want uh, six, five blue eyes. Yeah, works trust, in, fund. Tr trust fund works in finance. That's like the meme here, right? Or half in, a million a year. Half a million yeah. a year, yeah. It used to be it used to be six figures, six pack, six foot tall. Yep. And you better have more than a six inch cock. Yeah. <laughs> I got three of the four. So, no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I do, I do, I do, I, look, I, I do think that materialism is a problem yeah. because what it does is it's not good for like the soul or whatever it may be. Well, just a mental, but, yeah. but at the same time, there is that need because what happens is if you're a, basically aspire not to be brilliant or you don't aspire to be the best or you don't aspire to be rich or you don't aspire to be well off, I, I think that causes a problem as well because what it does is it basically uh, it stops progress within a culture, stops progress Correct. within a society, and so. But it, but it was but it was originally you like we we evolved this or we were given this by God to compare ourselves to our surroundings, and now but we're showing surroundings that most people can't get. Or it's another part of the world, or a completely different life, or a different person from a different country in a different religion doing a certain lifestyle, and then they think that's normal. And that's what I'm talking about. You know, it could be it could be like um, just to bring some, like as an example, like it could be it could be a person from Israel that lives in a completely different country that's doing very well. That that person from Israel is like Dude, that doesn't make sense. Like, but but he, she looks like me, or like he looks like me, so I could get that. And that's the whole thing. It's it like. Um, you know, I tell this to a lot of my buddies when like one started YouTube channel. So like, you're basically telling people that IG is selling them dreams. Yeah, well, uh, for, for, for a lot of people, yeah, yeah, for, for a lot of people, it's false, it is false hope, brother. It's false, false hope. No, it doesn't. <laughs> but the same thing, like 
but if you don't give up and you really if, if you really strive for a goal if you really want it and you you know you you know you really you, you pray but you just you act and you work towards it you can get really far you can get things you really can but there's some people who like a lot of people just like wishing for it to happen praying for it to happen and not doing anything to get no, it but you, i agree with what you're saying so yeah. what you're basically saying is when one sees this kind of like materialistic yeah. generally speaking unachievable lifestyle for the vast majority which has happened because look yeah if there's like i don't know hundreds of millions of people or even tens of millions of people who sure. are aspiring to be like for example andrew tate right yeah. and so we know like 99.9 percent .9 of them aren't, aren't going to make it right but then easy right so 99.9 percent .9 of them aren't going to make it so the question becomes this is two aspects to look at. One is that was it a good thing for them 99.9% .9 to aspire to even be like that because they progressed more than they were gonna? Or is it a negative that those people, when they realize that they can't achieve it, it'll cause even more problems in life? So those yeah. possibilities. And, and that. that's the two spectrums. That's yeah. like the guys who take, like, and using the red pill as an example, the, guy, mm. the, the red pill basically, red pill and black pill guys are almost the same. Mm. It's just one has hope and one doesn't. The, the black pillars lost hope. What exactly is black pill? Basically, they've uh, the the original term is basically they've found out how, like how sexual dynamics between men and women work. Mm -hmm. They're like, okay, this is what it is. Oh, I'm butt ugly. I'm poor. I'm super short. I'm fucked. I'm not, I'm just I guess I'm gonna give up on life. The, 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 I, I fucking hate how women. They usually get very angry or they're very depressed or they kill themselves. There's like there's this whole spec. Basically, just so basically black pill gets suicidal. Very suicidal or very mm -hmm. just or very lashing out angry. It's it's and you have a version of the red pill as well where like it basically the way I always like to look at them one has hope and still aspires like even though uh, these are the bad cards I was given even though it's not bad cards but these are the fucking mm. shitty cards I got I'm gonna keep striving to get better I'm gonna upgrade. that's which is good but there's people that give that just decide to give up it's, I'm, uh, thankfully it's a small amount of people so I, I mean I, I see your definition the way I see black pill and red pill is one is just like ultra optimistic yeah. and that and is one, the, is, that, that one is, is pessimistic yeah. right yes yeah, pessimistic uh, yeah. yeah and yeah. so in reality like I like I think I'm a lot more pessimistic because I think a lot of times like look in reality when you look at it people are messed up people uh, there is, I mean, people aren't as good as you say. For example, you talk about red pill. Yeah. Like, even when you look at like men and women dynamics, yeah. in reality, like for example, I know as much as what the red pill and white pill say, like, I mean, sorry, black pill say, the the white, red pill, yeah, yeah. like they say, oh, like a woman, she aspires to look for wealth. She doesn't literally care about sex or she doesn't care about things. That's in reality, American you know, so, woman, stay away from me. That, because that's what all American women so, are. So the only difference between a man and a woman in reality is this, both, do actually care about sex both yes. do look for looks both do care about aesthetics but the only difference is a woman is deceitful so what she will do is she will marry the rich fat guy and then you just cheat with like a good looking young guy that's I, the reality i, I haven't really heard lies yet i, I mean this all sounding like <laughs> facts i mean i'm with yeah. you i'm with you on that I'm, I'm with you on that but there is also one too like the, there's also this whole thing too where like they don't know they don't like they could just be doing good decisions because they were brought up right and then they don't know the other side and they still it leads this is like the whole point like this is something that was argued in i would say kind of like early 2000s a lot which is like of, of why you would why do people want a traditional woman mm -hmm. the traditional values it's also because it, the guys and the way they think and stuff right is the way the way they're thinking about it is like she'll know less so like there's the same reason it's the same sort of reason why like i think andrew tate would say like um you, you're not gonna you're not gonna find these fucking hometown these these eight these eight or nine out of ten chicks in a fucking small mm -hmm. village because you got instagram now right which is true you know uh sartain right. said this as well but um you know the reason when somebody wants a traditional woman is because they have traditional values and also they're a part of their psyche is being protected away from some of these bad things that could influence them well, to become more materialistic well, or more on that's on that sort what, of what's going to influence them to be worse worse women that's what yes. I'm trying to say. Yep. You have to yep. keep these women away from these whores. Correct. My, my Correct. wife said it the best. She made a tweet the other day. She said married, married women should not have girlfriends. Period. Mm. So, I, I mean, the reality of why people want traditional women, women is religion, but really in reality it's biological. Yeah. So if you look at it from mm, an evolutionary... I'm not sure about religion. Uh, if you look at it from an evolutionary perspective, a man wants it where he dominates that woman that she doesn't yeah. go elsewhere so if you think about it just from a psychological you want perspective, alpha widow her yeah no if what. you look at it from a psychological perspective right just imagine you're with a woman you might the studies done this and the woman walks away she goes to the bathroom mm -hmm. after about a, a certain amount of time i believe it's 30 seconds i can't remember the exact number a man will start looking like where's his woman gone right, right and that's because right. evolutionary what used to happen was there was a risk that, like, for example, if a woman went to, like, you know, went to the, to the forest to urinate or went away from the herd, 
that and that another guy had come and basically yeah, have a relationship. Yeah. Chastity belts so, fix that. So in reality, <laughs> it's actually evolutionary that a man actually wants a traditional woman because his hope is that by having a uh, traditional woman that she's not going to cheat on him. She's going to have values yeah. from a religion or from other things. Astrology. Maybe in a morality, morality or whatever it may be. But that's the reason for it. Can I ask you one thing? So... Because a um, man doesn't want to bring up bring up somebody else's woman, a child, right? Or someone because, else's kids. That's what I mean. Yeah. Because it data shows again that the uh, twenty percent of men in the UK, I believe it's the UK, or US, I can't remember, bring up children that aren't theirs, and that's I think it's higher than that. I think it's higher than that. And that's and that's no, it is higher than that. Because it, in reality, mm, when you look at it, 20, is, you're right. It is, it is higher, higher than that. Because in reality, when what where did that twenty percent figure come from? It comes from this that basically a man has to ask the woman permission to take a paternity test. So it's basically a woman who is so confident that the paternity test is going to go her way that she agrees to it. And think about That's all the women. That's a stupid bitch. Think about, <laughs> think about, think about, Can you imagine, oh, exactly. So 7% of them are uh, fucking so like, they're like, 20%, oh. yeah, yeah. So, oh, 20, yeah, 20% I, are, yeah. so 20, I, I just put a, I just put a video up um, on my Twitter. I'm not going to say it because I don't want to get banned. But it was basically this uh, old man who was married to this woman for 50 years. Mm. And he went in there and says, your Honor, I, I wanted to get these kids tested because they look nothing like me. And I, I've seen people running out the house when I come back from work. Whoa. So they so they tested the first kid, not his. He's like, yeah, that's what I thought. Second kid, not his. Mm. Third kid, not oh. his. So, the, so again, this is like an 80-year-old man. He's been with this woman for 50 years. Oh and the woman went from, oh, that's a lie. That's not real. That's not possible. Like, don't leave me. Why did it take him eight years to decide that? Because well, he, like clo he, he closed his eyes to it. He yeah. was comfortable. He was comfortable. It, it, yeah. and, it's disgusting. And it, he didn't want so, the truth. And nobody wants to think that because, I mean, that's mm. – but th there's also the, – um, I've seen online a lot. Like, mm. this is a natural thing that they – so this uh, – okay, look, before I get to this part because this keeps leading into what I wanted to talk, like ask you about was uh, – nature versus nurture mm. how much do you believe in that nature versus nurture right mm. how much do you believe in because we, we we say evolution a little bit right yeah, yeah how deep into the evolution thing do you believe like do you believe that it's like we are constantly evolving and growing and stuff or uh, partly to man-made decisions other ones more like you know we were kind of born like that to want these things yeah like so where, where's, I, the, where's the line there because like you know i think uh, i mean putting a percentage on for that, you for you yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah i think nurture nurture has a significant aspect as does nature so nature is the way you're born the, your reality of your situation i think nature has it because for example if you look at it i mean there's so much proof of it if you look at right. it from the physical makeup if you look at it from a in, in, intellect makeup if you look at it from a physiological psychological philosophical uh, makeup like your genetics have a huge impact on you and the right. race has a huge impact on you but then also your environment has a huge impact on you so for example like if you look at my origin and pakistani origin right i'm born in the uk um third generation yeah. is my uh, uh development the same as someone from pakistan who's be who's born there right now so obviously nurture no, does no, have no, nurture yeah. does have an impact right so I think it's like what I mean. I'm not thought about the percentage, but I think both are, are factors for sure. So I think like my nature, yeah, is a, a, a had a huge factor because there's like a lot of people who were born in the same area as me, same region as me, same society as me, and yeah, I've managed to be a lot more successful than they are. So again, both are both are definitely. Both, no, you're also a 33, so we have to put that into so account. That's, the country you know, is nature. Right? I, I would put it like this, man. Um, I still think environment supersedes almost everything else because it doesn't now go if, against your whole no, belief no, no, system. No, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't Numerology. Because, because if you're a nine life path yeah. and you're adapted to your society and you're you know, born in Islam, you're, uh, I mean, in Mecca, you're going to be a Muslim. If you're born mm. in San Francisco, you're going to be LGBT mm. because they copy society. <laughs> so, I, again, it, it was, with some numbers, it hits harder than others, but Correct. 33 Correct. is usually kind of rise to the top somehow. Somehow, mm. yeah. And somehow. That's, that's nurture, right? I mean, listen, now you make it sound like a woman sticking out her titty and like a baby's about sucking it. You know, that nurture I mean, stuff. Uh, I, I like to talk about environment and then you can talk about numerology yeah. and astrology and things of that nature. I mean, they have these classic old sayings, you know, like the the, the your five top people you hang out with and stuff. That's going to be like your average. If they're all millionaires, you're going to be a millionaire, <laughs> it's right? pretty it's much like, you guys. It's, yeah, but it's, <laughs> but it's also on the women. You're, like you said, on the women's side, it's the same thing too and stuff. You know, if, you're, if your girlfriend or your wife is all her friends are single, they're going to try to lead her into being single or like why is he saying that like it's just causing problems right like it, i agree with him though yeah. i think even if they're single or married yeah. women are women, women right women are women so what, like, what is worst enemy is a woman exactly yeah. so women mm -hmm. have got this nature where they're very negative 
And so I think when women get together, they'll always cause problems. So always. Uh, always. I agree. Always. I don't care if they're married or not married. Everyone always, yeah. bro. Always. Every single time. I love how man. all the different religions are like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a universal well, yes. truth. It's a universal truth, man. Yeah. Just like yeah. when you go like this, you know what it means. So look, you know, in Islam, right? There was always this thing again, like, oh, Islam is misogynistic because what happens, the rule is this, that you need two female witnesses to one male witness. So an event occurs, you need two female witnesses. And what event would that be? Like, like uh, cheating or something like, like that? Like any crime, oh, right? Oh, in court, okay, okay. in court, one female. Because women lie. Yeah. So... Wait, are we talking about like a like a law against like like a violent law, or are we talking about like a more like a sexual like a betrayal sexual law? Well, actually, it depends. So, like, oh, okay. adultery, it's even more. Okay. But okay. for example, uh, from from the legal system, it's two male two female witnesses to one male witness. Okay. Now should be three to one. Okay. So, I mean, I, I won't disagree. But my point is two to one, right? Okay. So okay. seventy. Um. So my I, I logically makes sense for me. I know a lot of people thought it was misogynistic because data showed that women, if their recall was much worse after a traumatic event compared to a man. So it makes sense that you do it. You but sexist. in reality, but in reality, <laughs> I mean, that was the nice way of saying it. In the reality, is women just lie. So you do need two female witnesses yeah, for yeah, one yeah. male witness. Listen, I I've seen this look in women's eyes when they're fucking mad. Mm. And nothing matters anymore. They'll lie about anything. Oh, yeah, they're just, they'll like, lie about being raped. Wrong, they'll they'll just, lie they'll about anything, shit. bro. You know, there's women who were rejected by guys. And then they made up stories that these guys tried to rape them. These guys went to prison. Yeah. And then when they get out, no accountability, no accountability. for the female. We really need to start making laws right. where if the guy could have got five years and they found out you lied, now, bitch, you're getting five years. I agree. Or at least fuck two, all I agree. two shit. Or at least half time. No, 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 it's the same. It should be the same. same. It should be the same, but you know they're going to cuck it out. It should but, be but a just, deterrent. But the important thing is that they don't give them anything, but yeah, it should be the same. Repeal but, 19. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it again. Repeal 19, August 18th, yeah. 1920. The worst day in American history. That's when feminism ran wild in America. Right. There should be mandatory paternity tests when the baby's born. If you want to be considered the father, you have to take a, a test. Yeah. That should be everywhere. Also, what, you cannot that, you what, cannot pay child support for a child that's not biologically yours. Yeah. yeah. Now, I will have to add this. If unless you want to, unless yourself. you want to, but goddamn, it better be a good reason. You know, I mean, but but you have to give that choice there. If yeah. you really, if you want, hey, you know, this kid ain't yours. But you know, if you sign on this dotted line, he is financially your responsibility. Are you sure you want to do this? And I don't want no female. It's got to be a, a fucking a man in a suit, brother. Yeah, yeah, I got it. You sure? I got it. All right, here you go. Sign right there. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gigi, let's. You want to talk a little about this gold? Oh yeah. Well, I mean, gold's what up? Like what this year? Like thirty five percent? Yeah, it's up. Pretty good. Let me let me see the gold. I think I saw it at twenty eight hundred dollars. I hadn't seen that yeah, price in a long it, time. It, I think it was at twenty like six or something last time I looked. Yeah. So in the last uh, last month, yeah, it peaked. Yeah, it peaked. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty high. So right now, currently, it's at two thousand five hundred and forty. And what's it uh, plus for the year or plus, year to date? Plus year to date because it's beating see. some cryptos at this point. Oh yeah, it's let's see two thousand. I'd say it's up tw on average. It's up about twenty five percent to thirty percent. You know, it, because one of the things is is gold's always been a safe haven. Yeah. When they think there's going to be war, like what's going on in Palestine, mm -hmm. what's going on in Ukraine, people start buying gold because it's always been a safe haven. But in all honesty, it's something else besides a safe haven. I've always pointed out how you have the like words within certain words. Like you can't spell Bible without the word lie. You can't spell alien without the word lie. I've said this many times. But, you know, you also can't spell the word gold without what? Old. So when it comes down to it, I personally believe that gold right here yeah. has more than just blank, blank, and all this other stuff. I don't think that's what it's really about. I think when you really, I know the, the heavy one takes a little it while to get off. Yeah. You know, that Golden State one takes a little bit. But I honestly believe what this does is it helps people age. Hmm. I help, it helps people age correctly. Donald Trump is really on gold. Right. He loves gold. Gold bathrooms, gold sinks. Does Donald Trump look his age? How old is that man? Born in 1946? He's in his 70s for I sure. I mean, late, late 70s. Almost very yeah. almost 80. Does he look like he's 80 years old? I think no. I got more gray than Donald yeah. Trump has. Mine's very okay. sharp as well. Mine's exactly. very, very sharp mind. So if you look at Donald, what word do you have in there? Old. Just like gold. Now, look at the first vowel. 
Gold, first of all, O. Youth. You get it? Everything has to do with this. This helps you age. And this is one of the reasons that people have kept this throughout time. I'm not talking about people like me and you. I'm talking about Illuminati types and the people who actually knew about this. Because if you have enough gold around you, it'll even help you age correctly. Even if you're a white dude. (laughs) <laughs> so you mean you mean that, if you're a white dude? Yeah, it's shout out people say shout out don't age too well. So you mean it stops you from aging, right? It helps with or the aging a, or, process. Or aging gracefully or, yes. or keeping your mental facilities. 100%. So that's another reason to wear gold uh, for that reason okay. from a metaphysical standpoint. So I thought I'd put that out there today. No, that's that's beautiful. Dude, actually, um, so so last night, obviously, and, we, and we... After that, I think it's time for me to start breaking this shit up. <laughs> So we were, uh, so GG. So we we were basically talking last night about kind of, uh, you know, these nines betraying nines, right? I yeah. mean, it's kind of it's 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 that's pretty ridiculous. Doesn't mean if you're a nine life path that you should just give up on life or nothing like that. You no, it no. just get your get yourself around good people. One hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. Because and, I've told people this many times. Nines are so adaptive. If you're around trash, you're gonna be trash. No different than these women. You can have a good girl around a whole bunch of fucking prostitutes. Yeah. She's going to be tricking a little bit, too. It's environment matters so much. You know, it, like, for instance, uh, a black kid who grows up into in the suburbs right. and a white kid who grows under the hood. What yeah. do you think is going to have more, you know, right. bonics or talking all this other stuff? The black kid in the hood is yeah. going to be way. I mean, the white kid in the hood is going to be more and more ghetto. Right, you get big meat. That's how it is. Or you get fucking Drake. You know what? <laughs> Don't start playing that song. Don't start playing that song right now. <laughs> but uh but you know, I, I you know, we had this talk that you basically are gonna start releasing much more, you know, on numerology and stuff that you mm-hmm. haven't before. You've kept a little under wraps. Do you want me to do one right now? Yeah, dude, definitely. I mean, you're like um I, I don't wanna I don't wanna say the whole stuff that happened and stuff, but no, we don't that, need to yeah, we don't that. need to talk about that. We but, don't talk about that. But but, but Gigi's well, got some heat. Coming okay. up, you want, you, you want me to do one? I'll oh, do one right now. All right, now. do one right now. Let's talk about Michael Jordan. Who? Let's talk about the man. Before I go into Michael Jordan himself, I want to talk a little story about Michael Jordan. So I was once with Mike Tyson's little brother. Okay. And he told me a Michael Jordan story. It, it was perfect for him, right? So Michael Jordan is a known gambler, yes. big time gambler. And he's also a very, very arrogant man. I don't think that's very difficult for anyone to see. So uh, Mike, Mike Tyson's little brother went up to the waiter. He's like, what's Michael drinking? And it was like some $150 shot type of stuff. So he's like, here's 150 Go get him a drink. Waiter went, got Michael a drink. And Michael's like, who gave it? To, who gave you? Who bought me the drink? He's like, that guy. So he's like, come here. And when he got up there, he threw uh, the dude a $1,000 chip. He's like, no one buys me a drink. The arrogance, right? As soon as my dude left, he bought him another drink. <laughs> so, so again, the arrogance. Uh, uh, I, I want you to understand and be in this guy's eyes, you know, mine for a little bit. Right. That's how arrogant he is. But Michael Jordan made a lot of money right. with Nike. A lot of money with Nike. Definitely. Michael Jordan is born 1963, the year of the cat, right? Right. Nike was founded in name change to nike 1975 the year of the cat so we have a cat doing extremely well with the cat company and that just shows you guys that's exactly what you guys should be doing out there you are in a goat, goat. you should be around goat things you're born in a rat year you should be around rat things um you know not israel too much but everything else God. <laughs> but that did make you famous that did make you famous so again when it comes down to it that's just one layer right but there's another layer to it World exclusive. All right. Watch this. Michael Jordan is born what day? Look it up. All right. I mean, I got it memorized, but I want a little drama so people clippers can do it. I'll look it up. Damn, bro. I'm just going to look at something. Sorry. (laughs) I'll do it right now then. All right. Then uh, come on, man. The internet's kind of quick nowadays. What's Michael Jordan's birthday? He was born uh, February 17th. What year? 1963. Okay. What number did Michael Jordan make famous? 23. Okay. So every single person out there, they have a lucky number. And Michael Jordan's lucky number happens to be the number 23. How do you pull this off? Look at his birthday. The first number in his birthday and the last number in his birthday, the number 23. So boom, Michael Jordan not only used the astrology to become a Billy as in billionaire, 
he also used the numerology. I'm not sure if he knew this. Someone told him. Maybe he got lucky. Regardless, this is how you figure out what your lucky number is. So what is your lucky number? 41. 41. So that is the number at the roulette table that you should be putting. If, in, if, it, if, exists, it, if it existed. existed. <laughs> now, because it doesn't exist, maybe go with the 14. Maybe before, yeah. A, a little backwards. So what you have to understand is this is an elite way of using numerology. And we've released this on your show. And I just did that in Sean Kelly's too. So I guess you're world exclusive. Two. World exclusive. Oh, uh, yeah. You're, this exclusive. is coming out before his show. So there yeah, you yeah. go. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> but so I had a question. So I've had somebody ask me this a million times. I mean, I just have to ask you this okay, about man, Michael. You. This about Michael Jordan. This about Michael Jordan. Okay. okay. So how did Michael Jordan win on an enemy year? Oh, yeah, it, he did. He did win an enemy year. What else happened in '93? I'm not. I am honest. Well, what else happened in '93? He won an enemy year. What else happened though? Did he have one of his kids born? No, his daddy died. Oh, his dad. Oh, that was a year. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So oh, it wasn't. Okay, okay. It wasn't all that great of a year. Yeah. So again, yeah, he won the championship that year, but but the father died. Yeah. Yeah. I think if he had to do it all over again, he'd switch. Yeah. Right. And that was about, from what people have said, is about gambling debts, possibly. I, that's that's I what don't know I, don't I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I but that's just what I, that's something the popular rumor. I mean, it, it, I mean, they say he retired uh, to baseball because of that. But if that was really the case, would they have let him be, be an NBA owner? Right. Let's be honest. I'm not sure that's the case. Listen, we we all know this. I know this particularly. People love to make up rumors. Yes. When you're in Absolutely. a position, people make up rumors about you. People make up rumors about everyone. So why is it so hard to believe rumors are made up about Michael Jordan? Definitely. That's I mean that's tricky. But actually, to tell you the truth, like, is I, I 2021 was one of the years I made the most amount of money in my life. And that was my enemy year. Mm -hmm. That was my enemy year, but I had some health complications. It got you one way or another. It got me one way it's or another. It's not always money, guys. It's not always money. It's not always money. Sometimes it's health. Sometimes it's family. It's not always money. But I Hopefully say, it's not family, you guys. Hopefully it's not I, family. I will say this. Sometimes when people make their money in their enemy year, it comes up to bite them in the ass a little bit later. Um, example I can give you is the Golden State Warriors minority owner. Um, he was born in 66, year of the horse. Mm. I told him 1996 enemy year is a bad year. He's like, no, Gary, I made a lot of money and I got married. I'm like, are you still married? He's like, no. I'm like, did she take your money? He's like, yes. So again, got to look at everything. Got it. Interesting. Interesting. And what about the crypto world, brother? I know you wanted to get in there. Oh, somehow. yeah, well, sir. <laughs> you got to get in the crypto world I mean, somehow. I, I, mean, let's, I mean, let's talk about the, that crypto, man. What, uh, what's about Zcash? Let's talk about Zcash. Is, is this about Z <laughs> let's talk about Zcash. So privacy. I told you about that coin. Yeah, I know. You I told it. you about that coin. Now I can talk shit. I told you about that one. So Zcash is finally doing good. It's finally moving. I didn't believe until 2025 that it would move, but it's it's it moved in 2024. Uh, it's basically on a 2x since you talked about it. Um, Zcash. Um, basically, you see, so there's there's kind of reason for why it's moving. One reason is just all the. Um, Basically, the United States government and uh, the European Union has gone after Tornado.Cash, which is a mixer, which basically all it does is give you privacy. So one problem about crypto is, like, let's just say I have like um, I have like 100 bucks on my phone and I want to mm. send it to you, right? Mm. By me sending it to you, you can now look into my own wallet and see what other coins I've done or my mm. whole transaction history. Mm. And for a lot of people, and that's just privacy you wouldn't have. If I owed you $100, let's just say I wanted to pay you 100 bucks, I, I use the Zelly app. Mm -hmm. Or I, I would use PayPal. You you have at no point in time do you have my entire financial nope. history, which is which is a privacy, which is you should have be able to keep private if you want to, right? Mm -hmm. uh, another thing too, when you pay employees, your employee should not be able to know how much money is in the corporate account or or in your personal account when you're paying them, because mm -hmm. it leads into a bunch of different problems. You know, it's just like oh damn, he's they're about to go belly up. You know, fuck it, I'm gonna quit. Mm -hmm. He just paid me. Oh dude, this guy's got so much money. Pay me more. I'm not doing this fucking work. Look how much. You know, it just causes like these, yeah. these problems. So this is one of the big things is um, I think it's very stupid that people do illegal things on crypto because it's completely trackable, mm. completely trackable. So they've created something called tornado.cash or it's basically a mixer. So what, what it is, is it's a pool where I can send usually Ethereum or something like that or a stable coin. And what it does is it puts all these stable coins into a pool and it mixes them up together like this. Washing. And it, it, well, not washing them, but basically they just, <laughs> they, 
yeah. because you have a coin like this, but all the coins can be in Ethereum on in Bitcoin can just be split into a bunch of pieces. Mm. So the, all these little pieces get mixed together like this. Mm. And the longer they stay in there, basically you can't track where it goes. So essentially you get a ticket, a, a ticket, and then you can use this ticket to then claim a new coin. So a new coin can be then given to you that has no that basically has no past history on it because it's all been jumbled up and mm. stuff so it's, it's a way where people where a lot of people who want some privacy to do things or make certain transactions aren't legal in their countries but is legal worldwide or not um pe people use these mixers but, but can I just question on that go ahead, can go people ahead. so when you send money to the tornado to cash, finish, yeah. are they not able to track that money going to the tornado cash they can so let's say for example you send i don't know 100 dollars yes to tornado cash they can see that a hundred dollars yes so, so you can see so that's the pro so this is so a, how so do you overcome that, that then because, that because basically you can send the money off to a different wallet that's brand new so you could so you could send off that money's now can send to a complete so wallet. Like a shell you, company so it's like a shell company now you don't mm -hmm. know who owns it you're like well that's a weird amount so like, no, but they it, know that you sent it right it, if, they, they really know you sent, if, if they're tracking you and they know that's your wallet yeah. they know you sent it but now they don't know where it went anymore because it you could be so if you send a million bucks you could just take out 10 grand here 10 grand over here, 15,000 over here. They don't know who, who owns it. No. That's And that's what it does effectively. And what they did is... Um, so the, it's basically like putting a dam up there. Yeah. And you can just... It resets, it resets yeah. the history. Yeah, I get it. I as get long it. as you're making a new wallet, it's basically a virgin wallet with cash now. Mm. But... Um, but isn't is the problem that they still know how much you put in there? Though. That's the problem. Isn't they, it? they know they know roughly... That, that's mm. why like the longer it's in there, the more it becomes much more randomized and stuff like mm. that. There was, there was this big problem they had with Monero where um, basically people would, people would deposit money into Monero. Mm. And um, if you made the transaction too quickly, they could track your wallet. So mm. people would have to, people would actually just to be safe. They would leave their Monero there sitting in a wallet for maybe more than three, four hours. And mm. then it would be very hard to track at mm. that point. But re regardless or not, you know, these stable coins, I think stable coins, this is a function that we have with our dollars. If I, if I take, if I take, if I take a hundred dollar bill, right. Mm. Sure, it has a, 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 a number on there, but like if I paid you 100 bucks here, bro, you don't have my whole transaction history. You know, yeah, I can you're, pay you're supposed to give money to the Jew. Yeah. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. What am I doing? <laughs> the fuck, man? Come on, let's get this oh, shit right, bro. The fuck? I'm charge you interest next time. Jizza, motherfucker. Jizza. Bro, Jizza. What a terrible word. Jizza. Jizza. <laughs> But um, so 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 the the two biggest um, what's called the, the two biggest uh, privacy coins that have been around the longest have the most history has been Zcash and Monero, right? Now uh, Monero is easy to crack though. They've they've there's there's starting to be cracks and also there's problems too where people can't really there's debates on like what's the actual inflation because it was kind of all set in private and they've gone after some of the people who founded it. They went after Fluffy Pony. They've gone, I mean, which is like some Correct other- Correct me if I'm wrong. Go so ahead, Monero is basically, they send 10 codes and one of them's real. Is that basically how it works? In, yeah, in a way. And there's also this whole thing too, where like the- um, Someone could just figure out which one it is. It's yeah. only 10%. I think I think I mean, they could figure it out, honestly. Yeah. I think they could, They, they but uh, obviously if you figure it out, why you, why would you snitch out that you do figure it out? Well, yeah, exactly, but, right? I get it, but, but still. Yeah, so I mean, but 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 also here's the other problem. It's usually not, that's not where they fuck, they, they catch you. It's not, it's because they don't, they, like if they can, they'll use it if they just to get some clues. Usually it's a human error. You can so let's just say like you've washed um uh, please you guys don't use tornado cash it's illegal they made it illegal they made free uh, uh, so tornado cash was not made for profit they, someone just made the code let it run and then people just funded it themselves and that's it he just created the code and they've gone after the the guy um, i think it's a swedish guy who made the code and they've gone after him and they're trying to put him in jail forever they're trying to put him terrorism acts just because you you like you you created a it's like you like uh as an example you created a twitter and now you're responsible for everything Twitter has said. Yeah, like for, what for they're doing people. to the Telegram owner. Exactly, exact, exact the same thing. That's what they're doing to him because mm -hmm. they, they just don't like that. They don't they don't want free speech and privacy is free speech. You being mm -hmm. able to send your money, like we still have ultimate free speech with crypto, with Bitcoin and Ethereum, with these more decentralized L1s, not L2s, L1s, because I can send my crypto to you. If, if I want to send you Bitcoin, you will receive it. Mm -hmm. A government can't stop it. A, a, a police no one can stop it mm. if i send you money you get it mm. the ethereum same way too now there's things called l l2s l2s are things built on top of, of layer ones these are very centralized a 
a person, a government, or or a, a corporation does control, they could stop your transaction. Mm. So, so USDC, you, shit like shit, that, right? Shit, yeah, yeah. And then, so, mm-hmm. and, and these are more essentially. So, it's like, like even, like even the, we we still use. I use stable coins. We can't normally. They're not going to stop it. But if a person is doing stuff that you don't like, or you piss off the wrong people, they could flag that. Hey, what's going on with this? And then that can get you into trouble. So, th- doesn't the U.S. government seize like Bitcoin and stuff like that? They, yeah, they can uh, see, but but you they have to get the private key. So just because like, the, um, just because like what's in here? If there's no private keys and there's no way to access the wallet. They can't take there's no because they can't crack it there's no way for them to get the money that they need the private keys which are usually 12 words 24 words or whatever that or in and or maybe a hardware device as well along with it but um usually when they end up confiscating coins it's because fbi open up boom they crack in here i got the computer wide open i've got the codes right here they confiscate the fucking notebook and the computer they got your they got your money mm. right if they don't got your code if, if you like if the thing is is like as an example if someone tried to rob me right Give me your bro. I can't. I how? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't got any fucking crypto on my phone. I don't got any. Like, I, I can't remember these codes and shit. Like, how you? Like, they couldn't rob you even if you like. I if I like, give me your crypto. I couldn't give it to you even if you wanted to, bro. Mm. And that's the and that's what they don't like about it is mm. that you do have like this kind of you know this internal bank. The then some people have memorized it and you know like the problem is like in the United. States, I don't know what it's in the UK. What's the rules there over there in the eurozone? But you know you can't travel you know, uh, domestic, I mean, uh, uh, internationally with more than $10,000, mm. right? So that's a bullshit. That's bro. bullshit. That's bullshit, mm-hmm. by the way. Yeah. Right. Bullshit. Right. Okay. Uh, yet the Chinese somehow out. just came I in. I cash out more than that at casinos, man. Right. What the fuck? We, and we talk about this. Las Vegas is awesome because you could take $50,000 out of the bank. Easy. No they, issues. They don't care. No issues. They don't care. And this is why I believe so much crypto is freedom and crypto is giving us back our rights and our, and our freedom of speech as, as well as, you know, we have things that have set specific rules. If everyone, if it's it, like Bitcoin's a game where we all know the rules. The rules, it has a certain amount of coins coming out every day. 21 million. 20, 21 million total. We have 450 being made every single day. People are competing for it. Um, What's it going to run out? Uh, 2136. 2136. Yeah, but basically if, if uh, we, have, we, have ni- we have 19 million out, it's all out basically. It's, 20, it's, 2026. Uh, bye-bye crypto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye bye crypto. Right, so I'm with you on that. So bye bye crypto. If if we run in a classic four, so crypto runs in a four year cycle, and that's because of Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin was the, I mean, it's it's, it's something we call like in in like like zero to one moment, right? Mm-hmm. Before like before and after Christ, before and after Allah, you know, th- things like like whatever the hell. It's like this revolutionary like my li- like life and technology or religion something changed forever fundamentally. Bitcoin was a fundamental like a zero to one moment, and. And what in what in what it did is it started very inflationary. You know, we we you had fifty Bitcoin being created every ten minutes. Very large. I'm very. It's a very high high inflation rate. And over all this, because it was created in two thousand nine, and over time it has now dwindled down to like it's only four hundred and fifty Bitcoin a day. In four years, it's going to be half of that. Another four years, half of that. But in in all this time, right? We've essentially got. We've essentially have nineteen million tokens out right now. There's only there's only another like what two million left. So it's most of the supplies out. Mm-hmm. So so it, it's it's going through something. It's going through something like supply shock right now. So the um, the U.S. government is um, now allowed um, is now allowed ETFs. So now uh, boomers, you know, like more like stock market yeah, money yeah, yeah, yeah. is not finally buying Bitcoin. Uh, you can you can self custody it. It's it's owned through shares. But essentially, we finally are having the traditional tradfi money starting to really roll in through the proper through, through the proper mechanisms where they where they can make their, their little vig on selling you shares so like go ahead go i ahead. heard what you said about yeah. that right and i was hearing this for a while so why is it that bitcoin hasn't gone up <coughs> since this happened Wait, say that again. So, sorry so what's the like for example i believe was it bitcoin halving that happened recently yes oh, yeah 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 so the assumption was based on what you said that because the production by the way i'm not an expert on bitcoin no, I'm no, just, no no of course not everything right? no, no. Yeah. but the assumption that i heard was that Basically, when Bitcoin halving happens, the production's obviously going to be halved, tough, tough, tough and market. so therefore, for that reason, the value should increase because the production's lower, right? O- over, and yet, over time, over time. So you, you so, okay? That's that's my question. So one thought that they're basically the value would increase, then it hasn't. So what's what's? I mean, I, I guess so. You're it explain it that. did. So it did. Um, it did. So like during the time when the happening, we, we were Bitcoin was forty thousand dollars. Hmm. We're now. It's, if I look right now, like no, but it, it went up before 63. the halving, right? Yeah, it went before that. It went yeah. back down. The halving happened after the halving happened. It dropped in it. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. After, yeah. And this, that usually what's, it's what what happens because what happens is, um, 
because you've you've cut half the reward, you've cut half of the 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 amount of Bitcoin that's in in, in supply. So we went from nine hundred a day to four fifty. It's it make it made essentially the ROI much lower. So it it ends up kind of bankrupting a lot of the 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 you know. Let's just say this this time I'm mining my Bitcoin through a computer right here, mm. right? But there is another 100, 200, 300 other guys with with computers of my size, and it, eventually it's like fuck. It's cost me more electricity to run this thing than I'm actually making in profit, so I shut it yeah. off. Yep. And then eventually, because people are in losses, they sell the big. This is usually why you have a bit of a sell off because miners become unprofitable. They mm. sell it. It becomes easier to mine because there's less competition. It becomes the, ha the hash rate lowers, and then. There's, and the, and then the, the extra supply gets bought up. Market and then, readjusts. And the market readjusts. Yeah. There's no, it's never just like, because of this, it instantly goes Capitalism up. Capitalism no, is no, beautiful, it, ain't it? Yeah, it's, it's just, it's just, and it's just normal human nature. That makes sense. Yeah. Normal human, There's that's why usually there's a little bit of a run up. The happening's happening. There's usually a little run up. It's usually, mm. you know, you know, buy the rumor, sell the news. That's usually what ends up happening. It's kind of what happened. And it, look, if I look at the current Bitcoin price, right? The current Bitcoin price is $62,000, right? Mm. Almost 63,000. It is a $1.2 trillion asset, just itself. Mm. All of crypto together is a $2.3 trillion asset. Class. Nothing compared to gold. Nothing compared to gold. But we're on that ass. Uh, <laughs> but, and I want gold to keep going because it, this, is, this is the beautiful thing. It's it's sort of the glass ceiling. It's like, oh yeah, you know, you know what? Like it's never gonna catch up to gold. The higher, the, look, this little magic eight ball of gold right the the more market cap the higher the price of gold gets right the more bitcoin what does it say i don't know it says what does it say go all in i don't know roll in stuff i, don't, I think this is rollo's one though yeah it's it's yeah roll i don't know what the fucking juice went on the roller the roll ball ah. but but as 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 this, as <laughs> as uh gold's price keeps going higher and higher because it's bitcoin's always kind of compared to gold in a way um mm -hmm. it's you know because it's digital gold right and these are just narratives, by the way. I mean, it's just narratives. Oh, but digital oil. D digital oil. I mean, that's a theory. They call it. Th they have to create these narratives because, I mean, regardless or not, right? If all everything has value based off of human desire or human want, mm -hmm. right? It's all it's all supply and demand, but it's really demand at the end of the day. You could have something that has a ton of supply, but if there's more demand to match it, and even more, price goes up. Like the, whole inflation, we know it. Whole inflation's real. Whole <laughs> or shrinkflation, right? But so. Um, this is why we have these cyclical cycles. So right now, like we were beg like we were begging, we went on fresh and fit. We we made a lot of people a lot of money. We were we, um, in December of 2022. We went on fresh and fit. We were begging people, bros, buy Bitcoin right now. It's fifteen thousand five hundred. It's fucking low. Mm. Within three four hundred dollars, go on it. Go buy Ethereum's eight hundred bucks. Bitcoin today is sixty two thousand. Ethereum is two thousand six hundred. These are the two safest assets in the in the crypto space. Once you start anything else below Bitcoin and Ethereum, you're speculating. Mm. These are much more, you know, and this is why Bitcoin has Bitcoin ETF. went up to 73 at one point. 74. Yeah, okay. 74. Yeah, 74,000. But last cycle, so in 2021, that was capped 99. Calling it right now. 99. That would be incredible. Cap. That would be incredible. Like oh we, we're God. like one dollar off and no. <laughs> and then the crash comes. No. They pull the rug out on everyone. That will happen in 2000. 26 most I, likely I, you and charlie actually have a bet on that actually yeah, of course. i think before the end of 25 uh, it's gonna it, like I no think, no i think we had the specific date yeah you will look at the specific date but you, but yeah i'm coming to collect my Char money yeah charlie. Char i'm coming to collect my money though <laughs> so, i want my money charlie what, charlie bet in 25 it won't hit 100k before uh -huh. so be, um i got i think it was november or october of 25 it has to hit above a hundred thousand bucks oh, okay. and if it does charlie gets 20 grand if it doesn't gg gets 20 i G's. need my money man yeah Either way, this is very entertaining to me. <laughs> me, I, I'm, I'm like at least how I'm seeing it right now. It looks like to me personally, like I really believe it's probably gonna hit like one sixty, one hundred sixty, one hundred sixty thousand dollars. Yeah, that'll be roughly like a three. It might be three point three, three point two trillion dollar market cap, mm. and that would put the overall crypto market cap probably at five, uh, five trillion, maybe six trillion, mm. and then we go twenty six. I mean, and I agree with you on this because. A classic four-year cycle, because Bitcoin halves every four years. Because Bitcoin is like it's sort of like we've we've only known crypto with like this central figure, which is Bitcoin. Because of that, it is is it's kind of like our moon cycles, or it's basically the, the way it moves. So the way Bitcoin, Bitcoin the way Bitcoin operates, if Bitcoin crashes, the whole market crashes. Mm. Period. If Bitcoin crashes enough, the bull runs over. That's how that's how massive it is. Mm. So because I it's, believe it's, in it's, Zcash. Yeah. No, no, you believe in Zcash. And, no, and the thing is. 
situationally those there's coins that can pump when everything's dumping mm -hmm. if and, but it's all based off demand or use case right if right. ever if if we had something were crazy where like they really start getting this is why i was very bullish on zcash later in the in late 2020s or in the in the early 2030s because i really believe they're going to get much more draconian they're going to start releasing digital um, um they're going to start releasing um central bank digital currencies every country's already working on them that's true yeah every and then and this is why i'm so scared of them the chinese were the first one to test this out during the the, the uh the last winter olympics where they basically said here you go here's a digital currency you can spend it you if you don't spend it in the next two days it disappears mm. so they gave everyone a thousand bucks you have to spend it if not it disappears and that is what they truly want total control is basically whatever you earn hey the economy isn't growing enough today uh, we're going to evaporate 80% of your savings. You have to spend it. Hmm. If you don't spend it, it goes away. And then, so basically, if they take your ability to save, they've essentially enslaved you completely. They kind of have with they, inflation. With inflation. They, they, you have no more ability to save. Like back in the day, they used to give you actual good interest rates. Yeah. You could live off that stuff. Not anymore. No, not anymore. No, like, now you have to constantly keep moving your money yes. from crypto to from gold, gold to, to stocks. stocks. Your you money to has to move. You be, we, yep. They've made us have to be a gambler. You have to be a gambler, a speculator. Now, some people are gambling. Some people are more speculative. And there's this whole range. There's, there's someone's value investing, someone's investing, someone's speculating, and someone's playing hot potato. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we, we're like these are the four things I, I kind of call it. Like there's times where value investing is like crypto's dead. This is late 22. Bitcoin's at the lows. Everyone's like, Bitcoin's going to 5,000. But I literally saw people saying, Bitcoin's going to 3,000. Bitcoin's going to five. It's going to nine. It's going to zero. It's over. Peter Schiff, I told you my fucking son was a retard. I told you Bitcoin's trash. No. And and when everyone's saying that, that's when you buy. When there's blood in the streets, that's when you buy. And this is like classic thing. You know this. Like, you want to buy stuff when it's red. Why would you want to buy it at all time highs? Unless you've March got like 2020, brother. Right. When Bitcoin was low yeah. as hell. I remember people were calling me. <laughs> March of 2020, it was like between three and four thousand, three, four thousand, somewhere yeah. there. And people were yeah. calling me like, "Listen, we want a hundred million Bitcoin. We're willing to pay a fucking fifteen percent premium for." Mm, yeah, when sure. you heard stuff like that, that's when you know. When you know, yeah, they're talking about hundred million. They couldn't buy enough. Yeah. No one wanted to sell it. OTC market. So there's over the count. So, um, so just like the the when I threw the hundred dollar bill, right? Like, there's also deals where like. Like, let's just say you get like, hey, Miguel, would you sell me some Bitcoin? Sure. And he's like, here's 10 grand. Here you go. And I just sent it to you. That's an OTC deal. Mm -hmm. We're like, it's peer to peer. Governments hate that because that's very, untr it's very untrackable. It just looks like I just sent you. Why, why did he send him money? You know, that, they don't like that. And, but there's nothing they can do about it because they cannot stop it. And this is what, so, so governments know this already. So they're just starting to put, okay, so we'll, we'll control how the money gets on the outside. So we'll control the exchanges, we'll, the off ramps mm -hmm. and on ramps. Mm -hmm. So that's how they get it, you know? And then, so, and, and, and it's fine. I mean, it is what it is, but what, what we need as an industry, we need better tax regulation because we, we're basically just getting, we're, we're, I mean, we're, the, the only protections we have is long-term capital gains, which is if I, if I keep Bitcoin for a year and I don't sell it, I get charged at, you know, 15 or 20%, you know, on that money. Cause you've already been taxed on that money. So just on the, on the gains. But a lot of the times, because how crypto volatile is, or there's there's certain investments you need to do, there needs to be like a 1031 exchange. They have this in real estate where if I sell a real estate property, I have about you know half a year to a year to buy into an, another property of equal or lesser value, but or but I have to spend the rest of the money back into or I take a tax hit. So if I sell Bitcoin for Ethereum, that should not be a taxable event. A taxable event should be if I sell my Bitcoin into fucking dollars. If I sell my Bitcoin into dollars and take it into the real world. That's a taxable event. Yeah. This if, if I'm trading if I'm trading fucking Dogecoin for Shiba and then to buy Pepe and then to buy fucking uh I don't know Justin Sun's fucking newest shit coin, <laughs> that shouldn't be a taxable event because half the time people lose their ass anyway. Another reason yeah. you need Trump in office because yeah. he is pro crypto. Pro crypto and Biden, genuinely pro crypto. And, and Biden the horse is against crypto the rat. Mm. And you can see how this works every single time. But 2026, horse here. Bye-bye. Hey, bro, bro, you know. I I'm waiting for 27. That's the goat year, no, brother. No, no, no. You're, you're, by 2027, you'll be, like, digging up graves. <laughs> that's, what, that's what you're going to be doing. Grave yeah, digger. 100%, bro. Anyways, well, I'll, be, I'll be buying the lows. I'll be buying the lows. Because, look, 26 is going to be a bad year for crypto. If, if As long as the traditional money doesn't mess up the whole thing. Because this, this is the first time we've ever had, like, this level of wealth and money being able to get in. Mm -hmm. We we've had very rich investors in the past. We've had we had Michael Saylor came in with his own company and stuff. He figured out ways to get money in. Path. 
yeah, nine life path, but you Richard know, Hart, nine, nine life, life path. path. Yeah, the, the nines mm-hmm. do well in crypto. They, that's the one thing the nines do really well in crypto. Mm-hmm. Bitcoin has an I in it. First of all, I was born on the ninth, mm-hmm. and uh, like you know, crypto, uh, Bitcoin was established January third, two thousand nine. Last again nine. Yeah, you know when the thing that it made me laugh. Uh, we use <laughs> we said that all people born in the you know like if you're born in 1999, you have you you have more of a masculine energy because there's a one in front of it. Yep. But everyone born in the 2000s, yeah, you're fucked. Sentiment. You're fucked. God damn it! You're thousand fucked, year curse. The thousand, the thousand year itch. No, it's not that because it, like it, when 2100, we'll get some of that masculine energy back. Correct. But little, no, but that's what I'm bit. saying. But but like it's just kind of it's bit. kind of a funny thing. But would do you so if you get that one right? Let's just say it's 2100, right? It still has some feminine energy because yeah, there's of course. Two, but lesser now. Yeah. Yeah, but, 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 but think about it. Think about it. So, that, <laughs> so the empire strikes back 2100 right. and above, but then after 2100, it's 2200. We're completely fucked, bro. Like, I, I'm glad I ain't going to be around. You know, instead of Megatron, it's fucking Trannytron. <laughs> 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 I think that's the most castle bill event. He fucking it was him. It was him. I used to have Transformers. <laughs> I used to have that. Yeah. I, I, not anymore. I don't have that meme. That was before COVID. Um, but okay, so with Zcash, um, I stand with the trans. By the way, I'm sorry. I said I, I said I stand with the trans. Explain. Wow. How so? So like, I'm basically probably the only person on the entirety of social media who is like probably the only person who's pro men's right, right? Because when you look at trans, let me ask you. Do, okay, do okay. I need a smoke for this? Like, yeah. What's well, haram? Is no, it, dude, so. this, this, is second, this, is, this is the second thing you tripped me on. First thing you said something about lesbians. And then <laughs> yeah. trans, I need to hear this. Okay, let's yeah, go. We keep getting so, devolving. Come yeah. here, right? So yeah, um, let me ask you like trans, is it more men, biological men or more biological women? It's more biological men. I would imagine so, but I just let me think. Because I think most women that are lesbians are faking. Um, they just have that. Yeah, I, I really like. I tell every lesbian. No, give me energy drink. Just give me an energy drink. Um, let me think. Yeah, I mean, it, it's but it's more. But it's also like the thing is, I don't know. I mean, I don't got. I mean, I'm not like I've got like I'm not a market expert. I don't. I don't know any like yeah. trans person. Like, well, when I see him like at like Hard Rock, I get mad. What? Okay. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> Uh, I won't try and decipher that. <laughs> so, and the beautiful hard work opening in 2026 here in the beautiful Las Vegas. <laughs> the next sponsor. The next sponsor. Show. So, um, so yeah, look, yeah. you said men. Right. And that's actually what most people think. Right? Is but it? in reality, most trans are biological women. Now, the question becomes... It's a woman going to man. That's you. right. Yeah. Really? Now the, and okay. I'll tell you how, how much of a difference it is. The majority of trans are actually women. And for under 16 year olds, it's almost five to one. Wow. Yeah. These right. Bitches, these bitches so, are emotional. These bitches so, are fucked up. The, it, it makes sense, right? Me. Because women conform easy, they're easily influenced, right? Yeah. But now the question becomes why, why do you think that? And it's not just you. Every single person I ask the question to, they all give you give the same answer. And the reason is because social media. And mainstream media, they basically perpetuate men, biological men, who basically become women. Now, I do think it's a mental health issue, right? But, (laughs) but, but, (laughs) no, 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 but I stand with them, right? Because I'll explain to you why. So, why do you think that? Because in social media, they always attack the biological man who basically transitioned into a woman, woman. but they never attack. The biological woman, or very rarely attack the biological woman who changes it, to a man, even though they're the vast majority. I, I'm, I agree with you, but it is. I'm starting to see some attacks now on that a little bit. Very minimal. Very. The, the the Olympics did help for the Let's change for, that. It, there's much more attacks now on like like you know trans men in sport. I mean, a trans yeah, women, I support but, trans men in sport. Yeah. So like trans women in sport. Trans women. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because oh, you support that too? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I'll explain to you why. <laughs> 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, I this is this is beautiful. Okay, go. For yeah, it. yeah. This is crazy. crazy. The people you I bring on your, the people I bring on your program. There we go. Shout out to GG33. 100 support them, right? So, so the you're question, a Muslim, you stop right? doing that smiling. A, you're a Muslim. You support trans. I support the trans community. Can you stop okay. smiling when you say it? Yeah, yeah I'll explain to you. Stop smiling. Right. When you say it. Stop I'm smiling, brother. Because, brother. I, I'm smiling because I know I'm unique, right? Like I know everybody oh, yeah, else. Yeah, that's yeah. one word for it. He's a yeah, king yeah. of Twitter. Yeah, yeah. So listen, and the reason is this because. 
So the question becomes, why are biological men who transition to women being attacked vehemently, right? right? Because if you look at the attack on them, it's actually from feminists. So if you look at the biggest attackers, it's JK Rowling and many of these extreme feminists. And if you look at their language, mm. it's not, oh, we're against these people because they've got mental health issues. Oh, you're against her because she's anti. No, because she's she, a feminist. She, she, sort of, but she's pretty anti-trans. Because she's a feminist. So this one trying to explain to you. Okay, so, okay, so you're okay, saying okay. feminist the way trans. I see, I, see, I, see yeah. your, I see your lane on yeah. this. I see your so, lane on this. So if you look at the attack on the trans community, it, the main people are actually feminists. And then everybody else supports them. And the reason is this. Because in reality, the hatred of the trans is actually man hatred. Because what they actually dislike is the fact that these men... Mm. They hate these men, and then they even hate the fact that these men are trying to become women. So a man can basically chop his balls off, and even then they're not accepted by these women. So if you look at the attack on, on these biological men, it's literally from feminists. It's mainly from feminists. And if you look at this entire conservative movement that attacks it, they, all of them say, we stand with JK Rowling, we stand with the feminists. What about female rights? So if you even look at their language, it's all about, oh, women are being attacked, women are being abused. What position. about women? What about their rights? So I stand with but them. I get, but I get the logic, Bob. right? I so, get the logic. So now, in terms of sports, so for me, it's simple, right? Okay. So women shouldn't be playing sports because, in reality, they women don't. Gymnastics? I mean, women should be playing. I'll tell you something. If men did gymnastics, they'd probably be better, right? I bet they are. I've not looked at the data. But, they're pretty impressive. Yeah. Well, with well, well, male, male, I mean, they're both. Those female so, gymnasts guys, nice so work. I, I, I don't know. So if you look I don't at, know about that. So if you look at sports, who watches? I mean, I mean you, other than Juju is watching gymnastics. Who else is watching sports? <laughs> My wife is yeah. watching that. How dare who you else? talk about fucking women's volleyball like that? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Beach volleyball. Yeah. The WNBA loses at ten to fifty million exactly. every single year, yeah, yeah, and, exactly. and these That's women demand right. more money. Exactly. Fucking so in right. reality, who's watching female sports? Nobody's watching female Almost sports. Sexual. Right? Because in <laughs> no, they lo- even they're not because WNBA really? is losing money. Female sports <laughs> lose with money. You're right, correct. Touche. Uh, Touche. He's Fe- coming with the logic on this. Yeah. I mean, like, so I female see sports. A, a lose- guy who supports trans is coming with logic. Think about that yeah, statement. So a female, a female sports lose money. Actually, Maddie. nobody <laughs> is watching female sports at all. At all. Right. So if you look at not it, even the women, yeah, women. Especially, especially not the women. If, yeah. if you consider porn so a only, sport, so the only <laughs> watching that. So the only time people are even comprehending the thought of even watching a woman's sport is when they combine it with men's sport, like UFC or these type of events. In reality, nobody's watching it. So women shouldn't be in sports. Because, uh, you're, you are true. I mean, you're, you're right because if the UFC did, because I, I I do like that Dana puts this because I don't mm. mind the women fights. But if, yeah, if, if if we just, if we split it up where like it'd be, it was a different televised event. Nobody would watch women, it. Nobody would watch it. Exactly. Absolutely, absolutely right. Exactly. You're right about that. You're and right it's because the, the skill sets are not there. So for example, the women's um, American football team play like under 15 boys and they lost. So the yeah. world that's champions. Right. Right. That's true. Right? Yeah. Got killed. Now, Wait, by football, you mean soccer. Soccer, yeah. Yeah, soccer. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You put some respect on that name. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, soccer. <laughs> you know, because it's, I mean, it's called football because you yeah. live in the feet, right? Yeah. So coming yeah. back to it, right? Um. You now, know, I, the same I, I saw the a video that, you, that actually the UK is actually the one that made the name soccer up. Actually. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now. What a so, boring so that, ass sport, man. So, so that's the. No, it's really good. So that's the first Crazy. problem. Anyway. The second problem is this. If you look at female sports, it is significantly disproportionately lesbian. Now, you might be shocked about this. but for no, example, no, no, sorry. Not at all. No, not at all. You're not shocked. <laughs> you agree with it, right? So well, I don't did, agree with it, but I just, I, I mean, it's no, no, a whole bunch of guys right. playing sports. No, no, yeah, so, it makes so sense. Like, for example, if you look oh, at boy. Olympics, the data showed that I, in the Olympics, women, like it was like. Now, we'll say sports specifically because there's there's a lot of straight women in 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 like gymnastics and stuff. I'm not, See, like, yeah, I'm I brought not, that like, up. And you brought that up, and I'm with yeah. you on the gymnastics. I well, I'm, I doubt that. Is, where's the data? Because ballet. Who's the data that are lesbian? Like, uh, there was data. Look at it. Look, uh, check, type in the Olympics. In Olympics, okay, okay. it was something like 16 to 1. So 16 to 1 were like lesbians. Something like. It's either 16 to 1. Or, I can't remember the figure. But 16 to 1. Well, well, you're well, saying 97%, I could 96% be wrong. Are, uh, Type it in. Type it in. Lesbian. Olympics. Seems Olympics. a bit much. No, uh, it might not be 16 to 1, but it's a huge number. It's disproportionate. Okay. okay yeah. wait, so, here, look, wait, yeah. so, okay. But would that just be the subset of the Olympians, not the actual Or the ones that population? actually... Makes of, sense. Of, of, of playing sports. Well, we don't have the data sets for them, isn't it? So we can only take yeah. that. <laughs> so oh, like, tell example, me about Casper, bro. <laughs> Yo, this is wild, man. <laughs> this is wild. Welcome to Las Vegas, brother. Yeah. So, same with so, football. Same with football. Soccer. So, soccer, right? Uh, so, yeah. in soccer, in female soccer, again. There, there, okay. I, okay. I'm with you on a lot more of the, the like, there's there's actual legit sports that are, like, a male sport. Like, 
if, if it's like something like male, like f- a fighting sport, and then mm. th- that's much more masculine women that are mm. going to be in those sports. So I do believe you that it's more mm. lesbian. But there's sports that are a lot more feminine. So ballet, 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 figure skating. So ballet is an example of yeah. like high proportion of women end up turning lesbian. Oh, turning like yeah. oh, okay, okay, no, no, okay, okay, wait, wait. Yeah. Well, 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 if they're going to be athletes, they're going to have more testosterone. I feel like we're having, we're having, 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 having the council so now, coming right so. back to my holistic point, if you've got so first of all, women shouldn't be in sports anywhere. So if they're going to be in Can sports, women drive cars? not as well as men, right? So <laughs> women, <laughs> well, such a good def- dude, that's like a pro defense. Uh, yeah, but you know, but I'm a girl. What do I know? No, the crowd first. So I started letting him drive cars. So I was curious. So um, Pearl's such a good deflector, bro. Like, God damn. She's like S tier deflector on everything. <laughs> <laughs> So everything's uh, wax off. Wax wax off. Uh, Basically, if you're trying to, you know, and, and, and like she's really funny. But like you start, she you start catching her on something, and, she, and she's like, you know what? Yeah, but women are stupid. What the hell do I know? <laughs> and she's like, it's fucking master judo. It's in defense. I've never seen, like I've seen her get like she's talking to some or like she uses it to get out of stuff. Like I don't want to spend the calories thinking about this shit. Yeah, but girls are dumb. What the fuck do I know? And then she walks. Off. <laughs> Shout to Pearl. Uh, anyway. So yeah, my holistic point is: is women shouldn't be in sports. They should be basically acting like women, which they, is staying at home. Be, yeah. And therefore, Bearing when kids. they're gonna be in sports, like yeah, they should have one tier system where they're all in sports. No women would then be in sports. And therefore, yeah, if you're gonna be in sports and you expect men to, you, equality and equal rights, then yeah, let men dominate in sports. Yeah. So yeah, that that person, the man, the man who basically, uh, if he was a man, if he when he dominated yeah. in boxing, that's they don't want it. equality. They they they. I mean, they want advantage. Exactly. And treatment. so I'm against them special privileges. So I'm saying when you want equality, have it in everything. Have it in sports. Let's see what happens. You ain't going to dominate. And also sports has all of these problems, like I've just mentioned. And that, and I also see that the trans the trans people, basically biological men, mm. are being attacked by feminists. And, I'm, and feminist is the biggest problem in civilization right. compared to anything else. Because tra- let's be clear on this. LGBTQ is there. Trans within the LGBTQ is a, min- a minority, an extreme minority. And within the trans, biological men are an even more extreme minority. They're not causing those problems compared to feminists, which are actually destroying society. Yeah, they're, they're so ter- I'll that's always... a ter- Feminism is a terrorist group. Yeah. yeah. So I stand with the trans against these basically feminists. Damn, son. Okay. Stands Listen. with trans, man. That's the hill he wants to die on. 100%. Well, yeah, let's talk about Zcash. So... Uh... <laughs> So what about Casper? No, but legit. So Zach ZBT, this is a uh, this is an on-chain analytics guy. He's like, um, when you're doing on-chain analytics, you yeah, usually, I know, usually, I know, you, I know. Yeah, it, you yeah. know, you usually want to be kind of not public. You want to be like a private, like a kind of like a just like a you know, mm. you're on Twitter with just a a, a meme or your mm. big profile picture. But mm. he's exposed a lot of corruption in the crypto industry. Mm. But I think there's an equal amount of what, what there's like an equal amount of, of of like bullshit happening in the crypto that's happening in the real world as well. Hmm. It's just hidden. It's just more hidden, right? But um, but basically, what he said about Zcash very recently was that what's going on is a, there's a lot of these uh, a lot of scammer groups, but a lot of uh, basically a lot of people who are, scammers in crypto scammers in shocker. But he's saying a lot of like Malaysian and Indian scammer groups hmm. are starting to. Pour money into Zcash and into the private coins because they need another. They need a safe haven, and they're bumping it up. Basically, mm. that's it, that's what he said. That's and um. But wouldn't that? So, but I, I don't get it. So, like, if they if they're putting money in there because they're buying it, they're buying it. They're they're just buying up the coin because they're trying to create more liquidity in the system, so okay. uh, they can they can make larger transactions without, without making alarms pop off. Okay. That's kind of what it is. So, but it's kind of like. The but then, what's the problem? But what I'm saying is, for someone who wants, uh, like, for example, I'm, I'm it's good. If, it's good if you're using it, but it's also like, ah, this is where like some of these assholes are pulling the money. It isn't like it should. It should be more like every citizen. Yeah, I'll put some money in there because I want. But it's more. But th- these are not some nefarious characters that are doing that. No, so I don't get your point. So because I, I don't know much about this. I'm oh, yeah, okay, okay, so is it is it that your problem is that ethically it's not it's wrong to put money in Zcash? Or are no, you, no, no. I'm not or, saying ethically. No, so, it's just it's just like. God damn it! I don't want these scammers fucking. He was as big as what ethics? Yeah, yeah, you know what? <laughs> sir, sir. <laughs> I stay I cut above the rest, sir. <laughs> stay but no, no. With uh, no, it's just more of just like I mean, maybe this is a a belief set of mine or something, or just like I just like um, I hold crypto to a certain standard and stuff, and that just pisses me off. So it's I, ethics. It, the, the ethics, um, but that's my ethics. Right. Like, but well, for, but I still but I separate them and stuff. It's like if it's gonna make money, it's gonna make money. But, but my point is, so ethically you have a problem, but like based on what you're saying, and I'm, I'm asking this question because I don't know much about uh, Yeah, go for it. So, but based on what you're saying, if 
there are scammers and dodgy and nefarious people pulling money into something yes. they, which they believe is going to help hide their assets, yes. then surely there's going to be more people more doing people, it yes. and therefore won't that increase the value? Yes, right? absolutely. Okay. So it, that's okay. why I'm, that's why I'm like, yo, I'm probably gonna, you know, Zcash looking good now, because I, I told you, no, because there's, I told people that was the coin. Because sometimes you get these moves mm -hmm. where like the coin goes up and then they'll go right back. You, you, you yeah. like this is the problem with the, this has been the problem historically. Um, okay, so I, this is where like I almost got to do like history lesson here, but like in 2021, right? Um, they started cracking down a little bit on on mm. basically privacy coins, OTC deals. They hadn't gone after like 20 dollars cash, but it was starting to look like the government was very anti-privacy. So privacy coins kind of took a hit. They still went up, but if they if the governments weren't so negative about it, those coins, like they would have really gone up. In 2017, when the government was much less involved, especially the United States government, and it was much of a brand thing, you, you couldn't even get taxed for it in 2017. There was like, I th if I remember the number, I think in 2015, there was like less than 600 people that paid taxes in crypto. Yeah. There How much? Like Six hundred people in the United States. Wow. Paid, yeah, twenty fifteen. So there was mm. barely, almost nobody was paying taxes because you didn't have to. You didn't mm. even have to report it. You didn't have to report it until twenty one, twenty twenty one. So back in twenty seventeen, because I I got in in twenty sixteen, um, Monero did very well. Zcash did very well. These coins did very well because they were brand new and there wasn't this this like the government's going to come in and it was much more libertarian sort of a uh, uh, sort of like thought pattern in crypto mm. that time. It what happened what happens recently is like it's starting to go less it's still libertarian but it's kind of like going more republican and as time goes on it's probably going to go a little more in the middle. I don't think it's ever going to go leftist and stuff but it's more like it's just kind of going like instead of being dark red it's probably going to go light red. Free market. Yeah, free market and stuff. Mm. Yeah. So this is why I've always thought for the longest time that it would, as as governments get more draconian these stable these uh these privacy coins are going to have their day sometime in the 2030s because that's when the central bank digital currencies are going to start scaring a lot of individuals and then there'll be a need a utility because these coins have utility they can, they're used for something you can facilitate transactions on monero and on zcash i think they're very fucking important they're absolutely needed More but but for me in terms of like my fundamental analysis and seeing like and basically what i'm trying to figure out is like where's the demand going to come in mm. so if i know i.e. governments are coming after are, are like taking our privacy away in the crypto space people are going to start looking for privacy they'll just start buying up the zcash and monero does zcash there's a backdoor i haven't I probably i'd have to i think I, so I, I, yeah because I'll, I'll tell you something like um i was before 2021 it was only gg33 on zcash mm -hmm. and we're the only ones and yeah. i literally you have uh, called it yeah, I, I, called I, it, I, yeah. I, I put that a lot of money into that with a lot of people and the owner of uh, Zcash, Zuko, blocked me. Yeah, he blocked it, me on Twitter. It, so it, I, I'm sending people to his coin, not getting a, a penny off it. Not a penny. Never have I promoted the coin. And these motherfuckers blocked me afterwards. I'm like, wow, that's interesting. Yeah. And it's, it, it, it's that's all because I said it had a back door. And by the way, I oh, still think it has a back door. Oh, every, everything has a back door, bro. Like they, they definitely do. I mean, like the, there's all these things the Monero founders, mm -hmm. like, definitely had in like some of the this the, 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 i don't know if it's been fixed now but at least when i last looked when i last looked into it it looked like it they, they, like they were still people were still arguing over the inflate you know how you we know i know exactly the rule set i know exactly there's 450 bitcoin a day i can't say that for monero and so some of that inflation is going to the founders of course it is and you know a lot of these founders in monero and stuff I mean, I mean, had Richard Mills back before they got really pop. I mean, they were they were balling and stuff. And and then these and then this is why some there was some arrests that started happening around that. And it's mostly because you know some people. I mean, most people are just they bought Monero just to send a couple trips. Most people are just buying it for price appreciation. Let's be honest. And maybe paying a person or buying something off the dark web, and that's probably just it's probably just weed or steroids or something like that, right? But besides that, right? Um, very few people are like, I'm gonna use Monero to go buy fucking guns. No, dude, like, it's fucking America. You can buy guns. Like, no, most people are just using it to I'll like buy guns over here. There's, the there's, there's literally a store called Gun Shop. <laughs> there's there's a store called Gun Shop right over there. Uh, you can buy guns anywhere, and especially in the states. But th these these coins, uh, as in terms of like, because I'm seeing demand, because demand's basically all, these people were not buy the, the people are not gonna buy the privacy coins unless there's a need for it and a pain point. The pain point is now the governments are getting draconian, so my prediction for the longest time is we're going to see a big renaissance in privacy and privacy coins when more governments are becoming very draconian with their laws and and their privacy and once most governments by 2030 will have a fully functional 
uh, central bank digital currency. The United States government under Trump is stopping that from happening. So if Trump wins, we are not, at least for another four years, we are not going to have the central bank digital currency of the United States coming out. But eventually we'll get a bug eater in the, and hopefully we don't, that'll allow the, the, the Federal Reserve to do so. And the Federal Reserve it already has the tech to launch it already. Just like the Chinese, I, I, I don't do. think the Federal Reserve listens to the President of the United States. No, but but they're they're super against it, and they're trying to like it's it's, a, it's an issue. Like, is it, it? It's not really needed, right? It's it not. Will really, be. It will it, be. But it will. But it will. That's why I say twenty third. That's why because I know that's that's enough in the that's enough like eight years from now. That's enough time for, for shit, the technology to catch up. Catch up, and enough of these governments should try it as well as. Um, as the dollar, as these currencies hyperinflate over time and the cryptos increase in value, gold keeps going up and the silver, silver, things of value, Rolexes will maintain value. Things that people really, houses will keep appreciating as long as they don't make a bunch of them. Um, BlackRock owns all the Black houses. BlackRock owns it and stuff. But, <laughs> but we're starting, we're having something called, like they're saying there's something called the uh, the, the silver spree or the silver, silver age where like what's happening is like um, the oldest boomers are now, I think 78, if I remember correctly. And you're gonna start, you know, you're gonna start getting a lot of boomers starting to die. And this is how a lot of uh, vax. Yeah. No, with the, you know, <laughs> that, the vax, that's what the, the vax. vax is for. Yeah. Put them so, in the graves quicker. Right. So, and that helps demographic. I actually that was one of the conspiracy theories I had back in the, like when COVID was going on. I was like, maybe they're, they're doing this to basically speed up the fucking process of just getting rid of a bunch of old people. I mean, you, the social securities are out to run out of money, so 20, you gotta get rid of these guys. You got, an, you got an aging population, isn't it? They said it was 2035. Now it's 2032 when it goes bankrupt. 2032 2032 can't even make it to 2033 i mean god damn just well who know i mean who knows but like um uh, trump's gonna put his cape on and fix it <laughs> 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 that's what's gonna happen I, I mean, we just like it just it just be nice just to have somebody that's at least neutral to pro crypto that's it like i mean we're like some battered and beaten bitch in crypto. yo 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 like i would be that guy as long as i could uh punish ripple and xrp as long as i yeah. could punish those two we're good because I, mean, I mean, think of these Ripple guys. They're like the uh, Christians who believe they're chosen by the Almighty. Yeah. They've been telling me Ripple is going to pop off for years. Bro. First, it's when we win the lawsuit. Mm -hmm. They won the lawsuit. <laughs> what happened? They told me this shit's going to go to the moon. It's it's the only one that keeps going down. So these Ripple people, and I've told you, I thought the Bitcoin people were arrogant. <laughs> they're nothing compared to their XRP people. So again, you know what? Remember how I always put the you know the word lie and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, Bible and alien. Guess what? You can't spell a ripple without the word lie either. Mm. Yeah, schmucks. Now I'm with you on that. Now I will say this: look, just just because I, I like even if I don't like a coin, I'll just like it will go up in price. I don't think it'll go up much. I mean, it might just go back to three <laughs> bucks or two <laughs> bucks, and that's it. Uh, it, yeah. it will only go up a lot if it ca if it gets an ETF. A, a solo ETF. They recently won a lawsuit. Um, they were they were forced to. I mean, they won they won some lawsuits, but they were forced to pay fines, and I uh, they paid I think two hundred and fifty million dollar fine. So it was a very big fine, which is a little scary because um, when fines that high, they can basically like I don't like that sets very dangerous things because then if they don't like a project, they make or, that in a month. Then they can they can hit somebody, but that's a lot of capital to hit on somebody. So like most crypto, like even though these coins are like. Um, even though these coins are worth a billions of dollars, there's not that much liquidity. There's not like they may have 50, 40 million dollars. The average treasury in crypto is probably they, they maybe have 50 million, 40 million, you know, 200 million. That's all they have. So if you have some big lawsuit, they have to sell coins down. That'll fucking nuke the it's donezo then. And then you take and then they have to pay that cash. It's over. The project's dead. 2026. We'll say it again. Yeah. It's going to get painful. And then two, they never also. Right now, since we're in an upswing, right? It does, it's for some people it doesn't feel like an upswing because people want to make money easy. Like, oh, it's like an easy pussy. They, people just want to buy a, a mean coin, make a ton of money easy, right? That happens on oh, the last yeah. four months of the bull run. The last mm. the hot months. That's it. Every idiot makes money. Everyone makes money. It doesn't matter. Buy this. Boom. I make money. Boom. Buy. Doesn't matter. Oh, I'm a fucking god trader. Just sold this coin. Bought a new coin. Oh my god, I'm making all this money. And then it go. And then the game ends. They go broke. Yeah, the funniest part was in 2021 when I told people it's not going to be this easy in 2022. Mm -hmm. Everyone was making money in 2001 on crypto. Literally everyone. And these people thought that bull run was going to last forever. Then January yep. 2002 came. Boom, everything goes to hell. And these people are now uh, applying at McDonald's for jobs. Interesting how that works. Damn, I'm we born in January 2002. Uh -oh. <laughs> 2022, sorry. Yeah, yeah.
But I mean, we, that was an interesting story too. Talking about that, I mean, we had a guy. Uh, we had a lot of young guys in Miami. That's why I got fresh on speed dial. He's he's always you know he's you know he's in the culture right there down there. Um, he doesn't want to let me know as soon as these NFT guys or these crypto guys start because it's going to be because every <laughs> every cycle is a little different. It's a flavor. Mm -hmm. This cycle is an ETF meme super cycle. So it's the big the big the big coins making money are meme coins yeah. and ETF coins. Most people just think, oh, it's just Bitcoin. Ethereum. So it's very normal. What's We're about to hit this really, I, I'm not going to call it a zero to one moment, but it's it's a very big moment where we're going to get the first inkling of which direction the United States is going to go with the ETFs. Because Bitcoin and Ethereum, I mean, that's just like saying like, I like fucking, I, I like white bread with mayonnaise. You know, it's it's, it's, white, it's the most white bread fucking shit you could possibly eat. It's like water's wet. Like, really? oh, yeah, I mean, it's just like, oh, an ETF pass for Bitcoin and Ethereum. So my mom gave birth to me. Cool. I mean, like, it's just like a fat, it's like, it's nothing like it's, there's no risk. Here's where it gets interesting. Cause, um, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull up this real quick on the computer, Kyle. Uh, Go for it. so I'm gonna show this right here. So let me, let me make this a little darker here. So we got Bitcoin and Ethereum. These are the big two. This is all, this is all the big money, right? Tether. That's just dollars, right? From here. Now you have this whole thing where you're picking, you're picking winners. You're picking winners, right? Because Bitcoin and Ethereum are winners already. Now you're going to, by putting an ETF, you are literally market manipulating and you're making winners. Mm -hmm. Solana is a VC-backed project by the United States government. So I'm, I'm, I've, I've, I've called this as early as like early 23. Mm -hmm. I've been saying this is probably going to get an ETF. XRP it, it pissed off the United Trash. States, so, it's, so it might not get an ETF, but it, but they have the it, they've been dumping on their followers for such a long time, and they have the bankroll where they may be able to just bribe their way to get an ETF. Dogecoin, that might just be some stupid shit they might add, but I've said, but that's still a very safe coin for them to do. That's why I've, I've, it's it's going to a, the easiest thing. You buy ten cents, it'll go to a dollar. Dumbest, easiest money you can make. And from here, you kind of get this whole thing where like you picking winners. Chainlink is very based in, in it's very very in bed with the with with the with the eurozone. They are they are completely a part of the um, W. I mean the World Economic Forum. They're fucking bug eaters. Uh, market big market dumper, dumpers. I don't like this coin at all, but they are basically um, a, they they basically tell um, they're an oracle. So what what they do is they they um, when you have a blockchain, it doesn't know what time it is, it doesn't know prices. It's a price feed, so it just intersects. It tells you what the prices are in real time. So it's used by everything. It's a monopoly essentially, right? Chainlink is, but it hasn't performed price. It hasn't done very well price wise and stuff. A lot like of that. insiders told me that's the coin. Yeah, a lot of insiders. So they may, so they may get. They have a lot of money. They have a lot of offices, and they paid a lot of people, a lot of buggy, a lot of whatever the fuck you want to call them, the the World Economic Forum people, a lot of money. So you know they're probably gonna get an ETF, and then it's just near protocol. This is the only other U.S. chain. Y Combinator backed. Uh, this is a big. Yeah, this is a big like dark horse right here and stuff like that. And then, but here's the thing is, and from there, like where else is the United States? Because whoever the United States allows, you know that that's some chain that they control or or control or have a lot of influence in. Because no one cares if if China outside of China just buying crypto again, that's really good. But um, if the euro, if if fucking France says, hey, we just passed an ETF for whatever, no one gives a fuck what, what fucking France is doing worldwide no not really they never have they, they, they never, not, they never have napoleon left like, yeah that's napoleon left and even the japanese the jet like the, the the crypto originally was like a u.s kind of base started thing then then the japanese controlled it and then it, and then asia controlled it and now the united states has it it's it's basically been under japanese asia mostly china controlled and now this is the first time it's been america controlled again western controlled again but mostly America controlled with Bitcoin and Ethereum. And then hopefully we can maintain this for a long time. And Chainlink is Europe, right? Yeah. And Chainlink is more Europe. I thought I've truly said. And then the thing is, most of the projects in crypto, the 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 people who funded it, the 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 ideas for it, a lot of the engineers, um, and the and the people who have really like seeded the stuff has it's all been US US people, but because of the laws that are in here in place and the things, and there's not good tax code, there's not good structures to create it. The best town in the United States has just left other countries. Dubai, I mean Europe, Pol I mean not Poland. Oh yeah, I guess there's a couple people in Poland, but like um, Portugal, Portugal or other countries, and then they've like uh, Singapore, mm -hmm. and this is where all the projects are being launched because there's there's tax advantage. There's there's like good ways to do tax advantage. They won't, they won't get attacked for having created like software, and there's just extradition laws and stuff like that. like the, like the, like we're letting so much talent around the world just fly off to different places if we just had good laws. That's mm. it. Because people want to stay here. Like people, people don't want to move. Like tons. Of, I know tons of people that moved to Puerto Rico because of my, because you know if I go to Puerto Rico, I pay no taxes. 
I get I, you give up your I think you give up your right to vote basically, but you go down to Puerto Rico, you you pay no more income state, no more state taxes, no more federal taxes. You have to report all your all, what these are my assets. Do your final taxes. You move there. You have to you have to be there for six months in a day. And if for in three years, it's it's like a three year contract. And if in those three years we catch you that you're you're lying and you've been mostly in the states, then you pay back taxes on all the three years. And for a lot of people, it's really great. If you're a single guy in Puerto Rico, fucking awesome, you know, awesome. But if you're married or you have more of a more of a physical business, it's really tough. But some, but a lot of crypto. That's why it's a big crypto hub in Puerto Rico because of the tax advantages yep. there. Yeah, a lot of tax advantages in Puerto Rico, bro. But um, was it four percent? Yeah, 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 yeah. For corporate, yeah, for corporate, yeah. There's there is there is some taxes, but it's it's a such a small. It doesn't matter. It's like a round near, damn near. I mean, it doesn't matter. Just compared to like, which I mean, even in living in Nevada, right? I'm I'm still paying somewhere in the 30s, you know. Yeah, but that's that's federal. That's not stat. That's not yeah. Ta- yeah. But GG33, where people where can people follow you? I mean, uh, Elon Musk made sure that people can't follow me too much on Twitter, so I can't even give up my real name or the account will be suspended. But right. Matrix Prime underscore on IG, plus 10 other accounts. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's see, what is my uh, GG33 Academy on TikTok? And again, um, Gary the Numbers Guy on YouTube. I'm not going to promote that uh, other thing. And I will say one thing. You know, everyone says Zuckerberg is the leftist and, mm. uh, you know, uh, this guy over here, yeah, Musk. Yeah, yeah is you know right, the right, right. guy Let, let's be honest uh zuckerberg's the one who has a family he's been with one wife one kid uh musk has been through like what three four five wives so who's the real conservative here well he admitted today that he yeah. was basically listening to harris and biden in terms of censorship so yeah yep, i bet he was censorship yeah he's a that piece was happening. Of, yep well uh at, at, at again at the end of the day I said a lot of things on IG that got me suspended on uh, X. Interesting. Well, Suleiman, where can people follow you? Twitter. So you can find me on Twitter. Twitter so. king right there. Yeah, Twitter, Twitter king. Yeah, just Twitter, yeah. Do you have a YouTube? I mean, I'm not yeah. really, no. Not no, really? Okay. Not the way he talks. <laughs> <laughs> Rumble, I would imagine. <laughs> no, I mean, again, I'm not doing it properly, but maybe in a few months. So, so uh, on Twitter, do you mostly do like spaces or wh- how do you, how do you, besides the tweets, are you, are you using any other, or do you just go and try to do interviews or like? Um, so like tweets, uh, as you said, and spaces. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, yeah, he gets an audience on yeah, spaces yeah, yeah, for yeah, real, yeah. man. Yeah. This boy, this boy is out there putting in work on spaces. Well, don't worry. I'll have his Twitter link down in the bio and stuff like that. So for you guys who want to follow him, go follow him. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining me. And uh Let's go out. Zcash. Zcash.